tonight on ESPN, a showdown in the Big Eight, Nebraska and Oklahoma State. Two years ago here in Stillwater, Turner Guild's pass to Irving Pryor helped Nebraska win again over Oklahoma State, 14 to 10. Last year, Shane Swanson returned a punt to win. Oklahoma State has not beaten the Cornhuskers since 1961. And after last week's game, Coach Pat Jones reminded his team of that very fact. Tell these Nebraska films, if you guys who ain't been around here, get ready for World War III, man. What you see, what you see up until now is child's play. Child's play. And we could have won the last two years, probably should have won the last two years. So let's get ready for all-out war, man. All-out war. All-out war. football on Saturday night here on ESPN. Oklahoma State's great running back Thurman Thomas had a 57-yard touchdown run against Tulsa last week and a second in the nation in rushing, second only to the incredible Bo Jackson of Auburn. Thomas is all-American material. His Nebraska counterpart is Doug DeBose, who did not play last week because of injury. He will play tonight. His backup last week, Paul Miles, got the Huskers going with a 59-yard touchdown run in the second half and finished with 189 yards rushing. Outstanding running backs on both sides. And Oklahoma State tries to prevent a routine of nearly a quarter of a century and tonight beats Nebraska. The Oklahoma State mascot hopes that he will see something tonight that he has never seen before. And so does the huge crowd here at Lewis Stadium. And that is a win by the Cowboys of the Huskers of Nebraska. And good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Simpson. Do you remember the year when the Berlin Wall was built? When Jimmy Dean had a song called Big Bad John, when John F. Kennedy formed the Peace Corps. That was 1961, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was the last time that Oklahoma State ever beat Nebraska. Some weeks ago, Paul McGuire, we saw BYU have a 25-game winning streak broken. Now Oklahoma State is trying to break a losing streak. What about the business of streaks in college football and how it affects a team? Well, it affects this team, Oklahoma State, for the simple reason that they thought that they could have won last year's game, Jim, and they've been carrying it with them for an entire year. Pat Jones was telling us our team really believes that they could win this football game, but sometimes it works in reverse. When you keep keying for one team for that long a period of time, you may make some mistakes, and that might happen. An aggressive defense on both sides. Good running backs with Oklahoma State, perhaps the better passing attack. More about that later. Now more about football and Bob Lee. Well, we have placed this game in a historical context. We've told you about all the numbers that favor certainly Nebraska coming into this game. Nebraska with the lower rating. And certainly they are the favorite team on the road tonight in Stillwater. Over the last three games, though, Nebraska has averaged 51 points a game offensively. There's some questions about Doug DuBose, but if there are questions there, then certainly Paul Miles can pick up the slack. He's been over 150 yards both times this year. Quarterback Maurice Clayton running the option. They'll ground it out in this Nebraska team. Well, we've been typically uh, more of a running football team, and we have averaged about seven yards of carry on the ground, and so that, that just puts you in fewer passing situations. You don't have as many third and eights and, you know, uh, third and sevens. And, and uh, But we have thrown a little bit better. So our main objective is to run the ball well, and then when people start loading up on the run and maybe try to hurt them with a two or three long passes, we're not going to try to be a ball, ball control passing team and throw it 35, 40 times a game. Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, it opens up the Big 8, so pretty much sets a tone for us and for them going into the Big 8 schedule. Winning this game will mean that winning the other games will be a bit easier. Well, I, I think that, uh, I don't think we have any particular rivalry with any anybody in the conference, you know, like maybe Michigan and Ohio State or USC and UCLA. But uh, I guess any team that's a good team all of a sudden becomes very important, and this is the first Big 8 game, and... This is a very fine football team, and I, I think certainly one of the top uh, seven or eight teams in the country right now. And uh, so we, we're aware, aware of the fact that we're just going to play very well. And uh, 
So we have no particular animosity or, or any traditional rivalry going with Oklahoma State. Uh, I imagine they may feel no, more strongly about us than we do about them in, in that regard. But we just look at them as a very fine opponent and a team will have to play very well to beat. That may have been a vast understatement, Coach Osborne, about the Cowboys feeling very strongly about this Cornhusker team and about this visit to Stillwater and the capacity crowd will have something to say about that. Let's now get back to the stadium and Jim Simpson. Jim? You know, it goes without saying they like to run the football. They, they take 80 snaps Nebraska from center in every ball game on an average. 67 of those plays are running plays, James. And if they don't run them 67 times, they are in trouble. They got to control the ball. That's what they hope and expect to do tonight. Bob Lee will be back and we'll talk about Oklahoma in a moment. Why do you It is a rather simple statement, but a rather effective one. Oklahoma State 4-0. This is simply the most important football game that this school and this team has played in quite some time. What will win it tonight for the Cowboys? You'd have to feel that they go in knowing their defense. A nationally ranked defense will be the thing that they will rely on tonight, especially when you look back over the last couple of games and Leslie O'Neill, the job that he has done against Nebraska. Over the last two years, they've come oh so close, and they feel that the defense will push them over this time. Well, I think it's obviously it's, it's a high-stage game. It's an early season showdown. Uh, you know, it's a league opener. I think if either us or Nebraska entertain thoughts of obviously of, of being in the Orange Bowl, it's very crucial that that, that uh, we win this football game. Uh, again, uh, we lost last year and still had a chance as it ended up. But if we, if you're going to be a league champion, you got to get off started off on the right foot uh, with the league. <laughs> Defensively, we have uh, quite a bit of tradition here. You know, we, we've been in, uh, ranked among the nation's leaders statistically for the past several years. Uh, you know, we have held uh, Nebraska the past two years without a rushing touchdown. Uh, whether we can continue that here on Saturday, I don't know, but we're quite proud of that fact. Uh, again, uh, we take great pride in our defense, and, and I would imagine we'll play well defensively come Saturday. As a team, defensively, what we need to do is go out there and stop their run. Uh, they have a great quarterback. He more or less is like Turner Gill was. And, and we tried to more or less eliminate Turner Gill, but we really didn't stop him the last year that he played, it, and therefore they beat us. I believe we can cut down their quarterback, the option that they're running a lot, and, and cut down their tailbacks. We'll have a good chance to try to make them get in a passing situation. Well, I think, you know, we expect them to do to us what they do to everybody else. You know, that's try to just line up and assault you and run the football. You know, maybe this year they've run the ball a little more percentage-wise than, than other years, and they've probably run more options this year than maybe the last couple of years. But, you know, I don't think they're going to change anything regardless of who they're playing because that's what's made them successful. <laughs> Total confidence. If we really actually believe in our hearts that we could beat Nebraska and, and go out there and play like it, I think we'll have a chance. If we have any doubt, then we won't win. Number five team of the country, Oklahoma State. They feel they have the emotion on their side tonight at home. Even though they might be underdogs, they feel they have the numbers on their side, the higher ranking and that great defense. We shall see. It's close to kickoff. It should be a barn burner. Jim and Paul standing by once again in Stillwater. Gentlemen. Thank you, Bob. And at first point, we always ask Paul McGuire the keys to the game. Well, I know the keys to this game. There are five of them, and they're all very big. The Nebraska front five, Jim, they are enormous. They're 6'2", and they average 270 pounds. But you must understand one other thing behind these guys. Nebraska, they have 12 running backs that average over five yards a carry. Now, that's scary. Now, that's impressive. On the other side of the line, Oklahoma State has... Ronnie Williams, a gun for an arm, but a fractured jaw against Washington, played a little bit last week, a little rusty, did not start because Hilger was here last year. Well, I think Nebraska, first of all, they're going to go after his jaw. That's number one. But Ronnie Williams, he's going to try a lot of play-action passes. If there is a weakness in Nebraska, it would be their outside linebackers' coverage on play-action, which will hold the linebackers. I think that Oklahoma State can throw short in the 12-yard area, but not deep. All right, Paul. Oklahoma State thinks they can win. Nebraska has always won and are the favorites tonight. The question is, Oklahoma State have enough to beat this club? 
We'll find out in a moment because right now coming out on the field, Nebraska's Cornhuskers, number 10 of the nation, and favored by about a touchdown to knock off Oklahoma State tonight. Here they are, one of the most successful teams in all of football. Despite eight fumbles, they beat New Mexico last week, 38-7. to And after the opening game loss to Florida State, no one has come close. They have been good, they are big, and they are awesome. The quicker team, perhaps, is this team right here. The team that has not beaten them since 1961. They are 4-0. A year ago at this time, they were also 4-0. And went to Lincoln, Nebraska, and lost 17-3 in a game that was a lot closer than it looked. This is the hometown favorite squad here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State coming on the field. That's our matchup. A big eight shootout, showdown in Stillwater, Oklahoma State, and Nebraska. The opening kickoff in a moment. Clear skies, didn't think there would be yesterday because it was overcast and rainy and cold, but at game time it is 78 degrees. Little or no wind and practically no chance at all of rain. Here is fiery Pat Jones, 38 years old next month, succeeded Jimmy Johnson when he moved on to Miami, is 14-2, and two, won the Gator Bowl over South Carolina last year. And here's Tom Osborne. We'll have a feature on him at halftime. He had bypass surgery this winter, but he is coaching his team as well as ever. Nebraska will receive, and Oklahoma State will kick off. Big crowd scheduled to be a setup. Nebraska, the big favorite. Joey O'Donnell will kick off, and this club here thinks they can beat Nebraska for the first time. Three of the coaches for Oklahoma State were not even alive the last time that Oklahoma State beat Nebraska. None of the players was alive when that last happened. But enough of that kind of streak. That's what's been talked about all week long. Let us now get on to the ball game. Oklahoma State in Nebraska, and you know what Nebraska is going to do once they get the football, and that is run. Joey O'Donnell is the man teeing it up, and he will kick off. Standing at the goal line, twin safeties. They are Doug DeBose, 22, Paul Miles, 21. That's awesome in itself, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Those sure is. The kick is short. And DeBose with the ball at the four. To the 15, big hole as he hits the 20. Still on his feet and outstanding field position now for Nebraska. Nebraska will send out the Cather Clayton. They call him Mac Clayton. He is a better runner than a passer, loves to run. Doug DeBose, 22, will be the eye back. Tom Rathman, 26, the fullback. Roger Lindstrom, 23, the wing back. The split end is Rob Snitzler, 85. Todd Frame, the tight end, 80. Roth and Weldon, the tackles. Blankenship and Parker, the guards. And the good Bill Lewis at center. Here's the eye back, and that is DeBose, and DeBose gets out across the 40-yard line. That's a pickup of six yards before James Hamm makes the stop there, the linebacker wearing number 40. The front five, Warren Thompson, 91, John Washington, 80, Marvin Hawkins, 69, Leslie O'Neill, 99, the All-American, Harry Roberts, 6, the linebackers, Ricky Adams, 54, James Hamm, 40, Connors, Demes, Williams, 5, Melvin Gideon, 2, and Hudson and Moore are the safeties. And the fullback, Rathman, gets a yard or two. Very close to the first down. Short, perhaps, by a foot. Tom Rathman reeled off a big run against Florida State in their loss of 60 yards for a score. And I can promise you one thing, and I think I'll be safe saying this, that this is not a passing down. <laughs> we said at the beginning, if you didn't hear about it, Nebraska runs 80 plays a game, 67 on the average are runs. The question is, is it Rathman or DeBose? That's answered, and it's DeBose, he's got the first down. Out to about the 48-yard line. They go to the right-hand side to McCormick and Welder. On that side, 69 is Welder, 61 is McCormick. And just take a look at DeBose. The fake is in the backfield to the fullback, and then here comes DeBose up into the hole. Ricky Adams, number 54, had a shot but missed it, and Warren Thompson, number 91, makes the tackle, but it's a first down. He had 10 tackles and a sack last week. Pat Jones looking on. Nebraska does what it wants. Operating now from the 48-yard line, and this is Clayton carrying the football for a couple of yards and knocked down by Mark Moore. The fine free safety, and he is a hard hitter, and you will see that before this night is over. 
Well, here comes Clayton down the line of scrimmage. Now take a look. He fakes there to Rathman, but now he has the bows, but he's picked up in the backfield. Once he sees that, now Clayton knows he's got to carry the football, keep it in his arms, and then more of this free safety came up and made the tackle, but they still picked up four. Von Shepard is wide to the right, just coming into the ball game. Ball handed off to the eye back, and not much there. Leslie O'Neill makes the stop of DeBose. Well, that's an All-American, O'Neill, on a man that, before he gets out of Nebraska, seems sure to be an All-American. Tom Osborne calls DeBose a great athlete. We all know about Leslie O'Neill, Big 8 Defensive Player of the Year, All-American. Could become the third Oklahoma State player in history to win back-to-back All-American honors. Walter's come out at right tackle, and Maggard has gone in at right tackle for Nebraska. Third down, five to go, no score early on first quarter. And here's Clayton back for his first throw, and coming back and making the catch is Rob Smith. Reserve split end, the sophomore out of Thornton, Colorado, and that's the first down inside the 35-yard line. Moore put him down. Jim, this, the ball at the 33. Excuse me, that's an excellent throw by Clayton because when Smith turns into the inside, he's looking back at him all the way. When he turns the inside, there are three orange jerseys there. Take a look. There's one, two there, and there's one right to the outside. It's a perfect pass. Well, that's one pass. Here's Clayton keeping the ball, and he gets a yard or two. That is a fine play, leaping in from behind right there, and it looks like it is Harry Roberts, one time a tailback, number six, now a defensive end. How many times have you seen defensive ends lined up to receive kickoffs? That's what Roberts does. Smith has come in, is wide to the left, and Lindstrom is wide to the right. Second down and about eight. Ball is handed off. Clayton takes the pounding as Rathman takes the ball and gets inside the 30-yard line. Well, it'll be third down and about five to go. Three and a half minutes have gone by. Nebraska's had the ball the whole way. After a good return by DeBose, they now have the ball on the 29-yard line of Oklahoma State. Jim, every situation is key, but when you're keyed up as much as Oklahoma State was for this football game, and if Nebraska can, in fact, move the ball down on the first drive and score, that puts you in a bad position, man. Schnitzler is wide to the right, but Clayton's coming to the left, and he's not going to get it at all. Looked like John Washington, big number 80, with a little help from Harry Roberts. And it is fourth down. Now coming on the field is another story to itself. Chris Drennan, suited up for the first time last year. This is a man recruited for soccer at UCLA in Columbia. Had an appointment at the Air Force Academy, turned them all down, came to Nebraska. He never suited up until last week, standing on the sidelines. They said, you kicked this 49-yard field goal into a win. He did. It was good. This one will be from 46 yards out. Brennan is second kick, and he's no not going to make this one. No way. And Nebraska is blunted on their first attempt. 10.33 to go. The field goal goes wide, and we'll come back to Stillwater. Brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Tonight's game, CFA on ESPN. Brought to you by Budweiser and Volvo, a car you can believe in. And by the financial professionals at Payne Weber Incorporated. Ball at the 30-yard line, first and 10, Oklahoma State. They have blunted the drive of Nebraska and now take over. Ronnie Williams out there with Bobby Ronnie wide to the left. Weimer to the right and Thurman Thomas to the eye back. And it is going to be Williams. He's got a gun, just lays it out there for Thomas. And Thomas gets back to the line of scrimmage and made a half a yard more. And that is all. And getting up is 44, Mike Knox, after making the stop. It is second down and 10. Riley and Beck, Lynn Beck, are bringing in the plays from the sideline. They'll be alternating. Shanklin and Blair the tackles, Burton and Meacham the guards, and Tucker is at center. And Thomas with the football. That's a good run there. Breaks a couple of tackles across the 40 first down. Jimmy gets a good block by Meacham, number 58, and also Paul Blair, number 72, on the outside. But when you go up into that hole, Miller, number 25, is the man that gets the first block. 
And Thurman Thomas, you better bring him down, and you're not going to tackle him with one arm. I can tell you that. Brad Smith, Chris Spockman, Danny Noonan, Jim Scal, Scott Tucker, the front five for Nebraska, Mike Knox, Mark Munford are the linebackers, Watkins and Carl, the corners, and Washington and Siegler, the safeties. Joe Miller is in there at fullback for Oklahoma State. And here is Ronnie Williams going out, and he's got his man who falls down. And that is Hot Lee Dyke. Check that. That's the tight end, J.R. Dillard, number 87. And that is his ninth catch of the year. Jim, I told you, play action passes and short passes, maybe the, the 8 to 12 yard range. That time they picked up another, well, they, no, they're short of the first down. They picked up about eight yards on the play. But that time, J.R. Dillard hit his block quick and then slipped just out in the flat and no one went with him. No score in the ball game, second down and short from the 48 for Oklahoma State. And that is the first down as Thomas goes across the 45-yard line. And State, in the scoreless first quarter, begins to move the ball itself. Jim, if Thurman Thomas, when he went over the top, could have maintained his balance, he would have been gone. He just shoots up over the top. Watch, he'll go up over the center, Tucker, and meet him on that right-hand side. And when he jumps up here, if he comes down with his feet, number 44, Mike Knox, trips him up. But there's really no one back there to stop him. First down. Simply stands up and throws the ball to Hartley Dykes. The all-everything out of Texas high school football. The freshman, and he's got the first down at the 35-yard line. Mike Carl ran him out of bounds. And so Tom Osborne knows that it's not only his own team that can move the football, but the Cowboys can too. We're in for quite a night. If you look at Oklahoma State, their offense, they are really fired up. They just believe that anything that they want to do in this drive, they can do. First down. Long count by Williams. And the handoff is to Thomas. And Thomas is looking for somewhere to run and winds up with about four yards, believe it or not, down to the 31-yard line. That's a four-yard pickup on something that looked as though it would never develop. Well, Sparkman number 76 is the man that misses Thomas right in the hole. And as soon as he does that, here comes Mike Knox now, number 44, is one of the inside line, linebackers. Mumford, 41, is the other one there. And here comes Knox. He's back in to make the play. He got taken out of the play, got rid of his block, and he got back up and held it to a three-yard gain. Remember that Oklahoma State offensive line is big also. Nebraska doesn't have the option on that. There's another throw coming out again and down again. Goes Thomas out of the backfield with Washington on him along with Mumford. But that is close to yet another first down. And the Cowboys are moving the football. Now inside the 30-yard line of Nebraska. Well, Ronnie Williams is going to throw the ball out here. But take a look. You see Thomas going to the left, Jim? There's no one on him right now. You cannot give him this much room. That's a great play, a tackle made by Brian Washington at that point. But you still can't give Thomas that much time. Enough Brown who was a wide receiver, plays a tight end, is in and out as a wide receiver to the left now. His number is 86, and here he comes in motion. A single back, and that is Thomas. Nowhere to go there, so try this. And there he goes. Pushed down inside the 20-yard line. Mike Carl hanging on to Thurman Thomas. Pushed down, 16-yard line. Flag is down. And with the flag down, we have a chance to tell you that John McClintock is our referee. Holding will be charged against Oklahoma State, so bring it back. The umpire is Bob Holliday. The head linesman is William Spiesma. Line judge, George Hayward. Edward Butch Clark, the field judge. Michael Beauregard, the side judge. And David Ames is the back judge. And now John McClintock with the first penalty and a big one against the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. They had a first down at the 16, moved this ball back across the 35-yard line and put it down at the 37-yard line. Jim, one of the things as a defensive football player, from the back side, you must not overrun Thurman Thomas but he can, because he can cut back to the inside. You let the people on the side come in on the offense, they fed down. They ran a toss, and, and the left-hand side of the defense had it contained. Don't, from the back side, overrun him because he's going to cut back and pick up the yardage like he just did. Third and 12, 7.34 to go. First quarter, no score, and maybe we'll see the big gun of Ronnie Williams here. He's got one, the arm of the quarterback. Dropping back and putting it out there, and there it goes. Complete, and that is Dillon with a 
his second catch of the night. And that's the first down on third and 12. Ronnie Williams hits Dillard first down Oklahoma State. Jim, they tried to call, cover Dillard with Brad Smith, number 81, the outside defensive end. Watch it here. Smith hits him at the line of scrimmage. Now look how far behind he's trailing. I don't know where the safety is that's supposed to be helping out because that linebacker is not going to be able to stay with a tight end. We saw in the replay, Paul, Brian Washington, the strong safety on the ground. I don't know if it's his responsibility or not. But here's Thurman Thomas, and he is hit by you lost the football, and this is going to be Nebraska, I believe. It is Nebraska recovering the football, and getting up with it is Chris Spockman. And so Oklahoma State is dented. Not a missed field goal, but a fumble. They've lost the ball at the 19-yard line. Jim, take a look at it. Here goes Thomas to the outside. Now, he tries to jump and gets in midair. And the man, Mike Knox, number 44, is the man that makes the hit, knocks the ball out. And I don't know what Thurman Thomas was talking to the official about because he sure wasn't down. Here comes Nebraska. That's Pat Jones. Fiery little coach. And that's the up man. The fullback, Rathman, still on his feet, and he rambles from the 20-yard line out across the 35 before Gilliam puts him down. First down, Nebraska. Top 20 scores, Iowa squeaked by Wisconsin. That was close for a long while. Michigan, still undefeated. Florida State, well, Auburn did a job on them, as did Bo Jackson. It was almost 1,000 yards already. Oklahoma, Texas got four first downs and 15 possessions. Alabama lost its first. Florida beat Tennessee. First down, and here's the Bowes, and boy, he stood up. Is he stood up, and guess who it is? It's the All-American Leslie O'Neill, number 99. That stands up, Doug DeBose. Jim, when, when you see DeBose, now see how far back he was. He's about seven yards from the line of scrimmage. All Leslie O'Neill did was to get rid of his blocker, Ralph, Ralph number, number 65, and when he did that, he was sitting there waiting in the hole. And Darius has come in as a tight end, number 87. Hawkins is in as a wide receiver, and here's Clayton with the ball, and he's throwing it, and he throws it past the intended receiver, and that is Crane, the second tight end. Other scores today, and there's some surprises along the way. Air Force continues to roll along. San Diego State, another victim of BYU. Indiana, well, Bill Mallory said we'll find out what we're made of. We're undefeated going to Ohio State. There's an answer, 48-7. to <laughs> Ohio State, what a powerhouse they've got. And that's without buyers. Third down and long, nine to go from the 38. Passing down for Mac Clayton. Clayton instead hands off to DeBose's tailback, and DeBose has the first down. Gets out near midfield, the tackle made out there by Mark Moore. He, he runs right through Washington and gets his helmet knocked off, number 80. But DeBose, this is a draw. This is all draw. Watch how they set it up. They just block everybody to the inside. Then they pull around Parker, number 74, the guard, who gets an excellent block. And DuBose goes through. There comes Washington's helmet downfield. But by that time, DuBose already has a first down. Mark Moore brings him down. No score. First quarter, first down at midfield. And here's DuBose running again. And DuBose turns the corner and takes a hit. And that's what we're talking about, Mark Moore. We told you he's a hitter, and DuBose can testify to that. But that's an eight-yard pickup inside the 45. Watch blanket ship, number 70, the left guard. The block he gets on number 10, Hudson. Here comes 70. Watch this. Hudson goes on the ground. That's a great block by the guard pulling out. Picks up eight, almost nine. On the 41-yard line. Each team has had opportunities. Nebraska missed a field goal. Oklahoma State fumbled the ball away. Clayton to the up man, that's the fullback, Rathman, and he's got the first down down near the 36-yard line. Rathman running extremely well. He is a good running back, and like nearly everybody else in the backfield, averaging better than five yards. Rathman averaging better than six yards. Leslie O'Neill is, is coming down, and they just pulled on that play and ran a trap. That was Parker, number 74, that trapped O'Neill. But that stunt was to the inside, and he still couldn't get there. Snitzler and Vaughn Shepard are the wide receivers, but Rathman has the ball again, and this time not quite as successful, but that's still a big hunk of yardage down to the 30-yard line, and they're beginning to eat at the inside of the defensive line of Oklahoma State. The average 6'2", 270, Bill Lewis, number 68, is the center. Now watch this. Here goes Lewis. He's getting down underneath. Now when he gets underneath on Hawkins, number 69, all he does is cut his legs out. 
They've had some great centers in Nebraska. Four and a half minutes to go in this the first half. Uh, our first quarter, there's no score. Ken Kalen comes in. He is the fullback now, number 49. Whoops. And that is DeBose. And DeBose, whoops, he's lost the ball. And now they say it belongs to Oklahoma State. Mike Hudson jumps on it. Well, the two premier men, Thomas, fumbled. This time DeBose, the ball simply taken away from him. Mike Hudson just reaches in. You're absolutely right, Jim. He reaches in and takes the ball out of DeBose's hand. Watch it. Here's 10. That's Hudson. When he comes across, DeBose is there. Now watch. He'll just pull the ball right out of his hand. I got it. We have really seen some action tonight, but no scoring. 4.19 to go, first quarter. Nebraska with two chances, Oklahoma State with one. Now State's got the ball. Miller remains the fullback. Timmons not starting. He's slightly injured. Is Miller looking and better get rid of the ball? Better get rid of the ball, does not get rid of the ball. And loses nine yards on the play with Scott Tucker, the man doing the damage, number 89. Scott Tucker is on the outside. He'll be on the top left of your screen. He'll come in. Ronnie Williams is looking downfield. And just at the last second, he sees Tucker. But Tucker's got a piece of the jersey and hauls him down. Outstanding evening, as we said, in Stillwater, Oklahoma. But the temperature at game time was 72. When we arrived here Thursday, it was 46 and raining. It was sunny today and in the high 70s. A delightful place to be, a great game to see. And we'll come back for Nebraska and Oklahoma State in a moment. We are back. And there's been a dead ball illegal procedure foul against Oklahoma State while we were away. So it is second down and 25. Williams hands off, and that is Thurman Thomas trying to get coming up 25. And he doesn't get much of it. Not enough of it. It's going to be third down and 16 to go. You will see as we take a look at Ronnie Williams, he is now number 18. And it seems that he only has one jersey with 15 on it because they've replaced it with 18 after he lost his jersey. You know, it's amazing how this man gets to the outside. You know that Thomas is going to run to the outside. Mumford, number 41, gets a piece of the jersey. If he did not, the only man back there was Mike Carl, number 42. He needed to pick up another eight yards. No score, 3.05 to go first quarter. Ronnie Williams, remember, is 18. It's no mistake. Started out as a 15. When you see his arm, you'll know who it is. Look at this arm. Look at this arm. Look at this arm, and that is Riley. First down inside the 35. Flag down, back on the five. Roughing the quarterback, that's going to be another 15 tacked on. All right, here comes Riley downfield. Now take a look at Watkins, number 27. He lets him go by. I don't know if he thought he was going to have Seidler the safety giving him some help but Tyler gets over there but that pass was a long way Jim and Watkins just let it go and that Siebler number 19 did not get over the safety they won't take it on Paul they just say the penalty is refused there's Roddy he is the quickest of the wide receivers of the Cowboys and these teams have shown a great ability to move the ball up and down the field now put the ball at the 35 first down Oklahoma State scored his first quarter the thing that surprised me first of all is that number one Thurman Thomas is getting to the outside and they know he likes to run outside number two you've got a third and 15 and your corners are too deep there's Thomas and that's a good play there by Brian Washington the strong safety or monster man who was right up on the line of the scrimmage as it began and he holds Thomas to a two yard gain excuse me I said too deep I, I meant to say not deep enough <laughs> There's Thurman Thomas. Great running backs. Big offensive line. The defense of the rest is a big defensive line. Oklahoma State is kind of big, but not as big. Big teams. Teams with some speed. And Williams can throw that football. They throw a grin on a line over there. And that is Beck over there. And Lynn, the senior, makes... It down to about the 27-yard line. They've got to get to the 25, so it'll be third down and two to go. Now we're going to put it closer to the 28. Two things are happening. One, 
Ronnie Williams is getting enough time to throw the football. Two, the cornerbacks are staying way off, and we know that Nebraska basically plays zone defense. So that time, I'm going to have to blame it on a long pass to Riley to Siebler, Jim. Well, Ronnie Williams goes to the sidelines. This is an opportunity they don't want to miss. Third and two. Scoreless we are in the first quarter. And Miller now getting his instructions from his offensive coordinator. third down one minute 40 seconds to go in the first quarter here in Stillwater Oklahoma and there's absolutely no score both teams have had their opportunity and there's some Thomas has got more than enough for the first down inside the 25 yard line and he is a good back ball he is a good back second only to Bo Jackson and rushing well, we know one thing, he has no fear because look at how fast Thurman Thomas hits the hole. He's going straight at the line of scrimmage. He knows he needs three yards. Not being slowed down at the line of scrimmage. Brian Washington helps out on the tackle, but that's after the first down. There's been one fumble by Oklahoma State. That was Thomas who lost it down in the same territory. DeBose had the ball taken away from him by the strong safety of Oklahoma State. So the two running backs have turned the ball over in scoring opportunities here. Oh, look at this hole there. He squeezes through and picks up five or six more down to the 18-yard line. Thurman Thomas, five yards of the clip. Did you think he was going to cut to the right, Jim? Because sure that did. hole was wide open. He might he might have been in the end zone. But for some reason, he cut back and got about five yards. We're in the last minute of the first quarter. If there's an empty seat at Lewis Stadium here in Stillwater, I don't see it. Second down. Pat Jones trying to do something that no one's done here in 25 years. That is beat Nebraska. And here comes Ronnie Williams setting up something, is he? But he's got a great pressure. If he gets rid of it, well, he's going to run out of bounds at the 28-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the 18. He lost 10 yards. With his gut, he could have put that through the athletic office windows, and it would have been third down and five to go instead of third down and nearly 20 to go. Now they're going to put in, in, in uh, Dykes is in, Riley's in. They've got speed on the outside now. Third down, and let's call it about 15 to go. Last time, remember, he went to Dillard right over the middle. This time, he throws it out on the side. And there's a Texas on everything, Hartley Dykes, and he's got the first down. They said he was the best prospect coming out of Texas last year, and he came to Oklahoma State, and he picked up the first down. Jim, when you look to the outside, the corner was, is Mike Carl, number 42, and I believe that's who's out there. There's just no one on him. You've got to get up if you're going to, even if you're playing zone, you must get up onto the corner, onto the the wide receiver and he knows he has a first down you give the ball to Dykes he can run first quarter running out and we'll come back to Stillwater no score Jim Simpson Paul McGuire we begin the second quarter it is scoreless but Oklahoma State has the first down at the 11 yard line of Nebraska and they've got two wide receivers to the right Ronnie Williams on a short drop, and he underthrows his man at the three-yard line, and that was Kenneth Brown, the tight end. It is second down. There's no score in the game, and you take a look at the stats. <laughs> tells you why. Oklahoma State, they are moving the football. A little confusion on the Nebraska defense call. Uh, they're getting ready. Now they've got three wide receivers out. On second down, Roddy Williams looking, and he's in trouble again. Now he gets the ball away for the end zone and throws it out, which he could have done at the other end of the field. And that saves distance, but not the down, of course. It's third down and ten. Great pressure on the sophomore, Ronnie Williams. 
Jim, the heat was on, but what he tried to do right away is get the ball to Bobby Riley, number one, because no one was out there. He'll look to his right. Right now, he wants to throw to Bobby Riley because no one covered him at that time. But now here comes the pressure to the inside. That's Danny Noonan, number 95, that gets there, and Williams does the smart thing. This time, he does throw the ball out of the end zone. Hartley Dykes goes out, and now you've got J.R. Dillon, 87, and Kenneth Brown, 86, two tight ends in there. Riley is wide to the right, third and goal, or I should say third and ten from the 11. Williams, oh, throws this out of bounds, it's fourth down. Fourth down, never ran the ball once with the first down done at the 11-yard line, and Williams couldn't find his men. And so now they'll bring on the field goal kicking team, which is Joey O'Donnell. His longest is 38, he's successful on four out of six this year. And this one, well, let's see where they spot the ball at the 18. So it'll be a 28-yard try for the first score of this game. 28 yards out. He puts it up. And they are on the board. 14.39 to go in the half. 3 nothing. the Cowboys. Saturday Night Football on ESPN is brought to you by the U.S. Armed Forces. It's a great place to start. By Kentucky Fried Chicken. We do chicken right. And by the financial professionals at Payne Weber Incorporated. Joey O'Donnell will kick off. Doug DeBose, 22. Paul Miles, 21, are deep. 3-0 Oklahoma State with nearly all of the second quarter to be played. But what a land of missed opportunities that first quarter was for both teams. O'Donnell to kick off, and both these men, DeBose and Miles, can fly. And they keep it up short. Taken there by Todd Frayne, the tight end. And that takes it to the 33-yard line. 13 plays, eight of those were passes, 74 yards they ate up. Three times they passed on first down, after they had first down on the 11, failed on all three, and settled for the O'Donnell 28-yard field goal. Good field position here for Nebraska at its own 34-yard line. And the Bows with the ball trying to get outside. Got blockers there, but it's covered up quickly. And that is Leslie O'Neill, the very quick All-American tackle, number 99, who makes the stop. Earlier today, Los Angeles lost to St. Louis. Back in St. Louis, so now the Dodgers still lead 2-1, but have to play again tomorrow. Tonight, Miami leads Cincinnati, second quarter, 7-0. And Ole Miss and Georgia tied a low seven. That could be a surprise. And straight ahead goes Rathman, and Rathman has a first down out at the 45-yard line. Ham made the stop, number 40. Nebraska, just an outstanding rushing team. They always are. Right now, they simply lead the nation in rushing offense. They average better than 409 yards per game running the football. And again, if you didn't hear earlier, they have 12 players that run the ball. They're going to take a timeout that average over five yards a carry. Well, Nebraska calls timeout on first down from its own 45-yard line with 13.52 to go. Cowboys lead it 3-0. Tom Osborne of Nebraska, Pat Dye of Auburn, Jim Young of Army all like to run the ball, and they're 1-2-3 in the nation in running the football. Oklahoma State, as you can see, is 18th. First down after the Nebraska timeout on the only 45 and trail three up early second quarter. Clayton, they utilize a lot, and he hands off to Rathman, and Rathman may have gotten a yard or two, and that's about all. <laughs> up to the 47. Lots of folks getting up. It's tough duty running up in that middle, Jim. It sure is. James Ham, if you want to credit somebody, Second and eight. was a big man in on the tackle, but Washington, O'Neill, all were in there. Second down and eight to go. Von 
Ron Shepard comes out wide to the right. Clayton and the Bows fakes the pitch off and keeps the ball himself, and there he goes. And I don't think, well, there's a chance they'll catch him, and they do inside the five-yard line. Jim, everyone went for the fake. What you have to do when you're playing a reverse play with the Bows having the ball, he faked the ball to Shepard. You must stay with the man that has the ball originally first. Here it comes. DuBose there. They get an excellent block by McCormick, number 61. He gets a block on the outside. Then DuBose gets into the open. He cuts back into the inside. Now, why he did that, I don't know. I'd have stayed outside, but that was more. He fumbled the ball, but he was already down. And here comes Nebraska. Moore is the man that's caught up to him. Miles is in there. And the fullback gets down close. That's Tom Rathman. Miles, you can see after that... Half the field canter by DeBose. They let him out of there for a while. You know, when you watch Nebraska as a team, that we know that out of 80 plays a game, that they average 80 plays a game, they run 67 times, that it's going to come a time, it's just a matter of time till they break the big play. Clayton, the pitch back to Bose is back in, running for the corner, and does not get it. To the two, and it's third down. Denise Williams, cornerback, out of Washington, D.C., made the stop at his third. Tom Osborne's squad trying to get on for the first time. Jim, I think it's Williams, number five. They got lost in the crowd back there, but well, yeah, it is Williams. Watch the, the job that he does on DeBose. Now, he has him at the five. DeBose has great strength in his legs, but he pulls him back to the outside. That's a super play by the corner. Third and goal to go. From the two. DeBose. Nope. Nope. It'll be fourth down decision time. Nation's leading rushing team. Do you go the yard? Or do you go for the three? It's inside the one. You go. You just go. DeBose makes a cut and looked like he was going to get to the end zone. Here it is. He's going to his left. Now he cuts back to the inside, almost to the goal line. They've got a half a yard, Jim. And with this team, 275 to 270 pound offensive line on the average, you go. Big, big offensive line, as Paul has said. Two fine running backs. And Clayton can run. Clayton runs. Clayton got the touchdown. And it is 6-3, Nebraska. You know what makes this play work? It's Rathman, number 26, who is the fullback. When they fake in there, when Clayton fakes the Rathman, Rathman also gets a block. Watch this. He'll fake, hold the ball in there. Now, Rathman, look at this. He comes back, cuts down on the outside, and when he does that, he takes hand down the linebacker's touchdown. That's beautiful. And now Dale Klein to try to make it 7-3, to three, and he makes it 7-3 to three with 11.31 to go. You would have thought Rathman, he made the fake, the bows, but it was Clayton, he takes it in, and Pat Jones is, oh, my. <laughs> Clayton took him in after DeBose's long, long run set up the score. They went on fourth down. And now it is not Dale Klein to kick off, but Chris Drennan. And there's Bobby Levy, the deep man. Drennan's first kickoff in varsity ball. And Riley picks it up at the two. He's the quickest, remember. Got a hole over there. And he rolls out near the 30-yard line before he is put down. Our number 17, Cleo Miller. And now, Ronnie Williams and company come back on, trailing by four. Jim, look at Raffman. Now, watch what happens. When they go down, Clayton's going to fake the ball. Now, Raffman, he can just dive over the top. He doesn't do that. He moves out and, and blocks on the linebacker, number 40, Ham, and that gives Clayton a chance to get in the end zone. That's a super play by the fullback. 11.25 left, first half. Williams, after a long count, has a 15 on again and under throws his man, and that is Hartley Dice. Well, somewhere they have either repaired or gotten another 15 for Ronnie Williams. For a while, he had to wear 18. Well, they live here. They should be able to go <laughs> right in the locker room and get one of those. Seven to three. Ronnie Williams, 
the fracture on his jaw in the game in which they buried University of Washington 31-17 the opener were fractures on either side of his jaw on the inside of his jawbone as described to me they never thought he'd be able to eat steak for months and here he is about four weeks later playing football and eating very well thank you yes Sherman Thomas running very well but not much there and it'll be third down and long about seven to go as he is shut down and you can see getting up Mike Knox 44 Noonan also went on the play Noonan was actually blocked out of that play Jim and when he spins off of his block he's right there and there's Thurman Thomas in his arms third down and eight from the 33 yard line for Oklahoma State Back wide to the right. Passing down for the sophomore, Roddy Williams. As the man fires it, Hartley Dyke takes his third catch of the night. And that's the first down out of the 44 yard line. Mike Knox put him down. Jim Dykes is there for the catch, but look at the closest man to him is going to be Mike Knox, who is a linebacker. Now, the linebackers on a play action have to sit for just a second. I don't know where the safety is because we know that Nebraska is going to play zone coverage. Now, there goes the safety running off. That's Miller, and the man that makes the tackle is Knox. Well, both men have been all big eight players in their time, those linebackers in Nebraska. Here goes Thomas, and Thomas gets three or four yards. But... They are not known for their play against the pass, rather against the run, despite the fact that Munford has intercepted the ball this year. That was Munford on the tackle. Now, Nebraska, they have 12 interceptions going into this game. Another amazing stat, they have 10 players <laughs> that have made the interceptions. There are only two players that have two. 7-3 Nebraska. It is midway through the second quarter. And it is second down and six to go for Pat Jones' team. Williams gets it right over the center. And there is Dillon with his third catch. And the big tight end got a first down inside the 40-yard line. Well, Nebraska could run the ball. And DeBow set up the touchdown by Payton. But Oklahoma State, Paul, shows that they can throw on Nebraska. Jim, what happened on that play is the linebacker, Mumford, on that side, he delayed blitz. And when he, when he saw the tight end, Dillard, sit up the block, he went in on the blitz. Williams read it real well. Saw Dillard slip out, pick up a first down. We have a timeout. Timeout, 9.21 to go in the second quarter. Nebraska 7, the Cowboys 3. When we come back, first and 10, Oklahoma State on the 38th of Nebraska. Bob Lee will be around at halftime with the College Football Report and Sports Center. And then we'll have a close-up feature on head coach Tom Osborne, one of the most successful coaches in the country, and naturally the head coach of Nebraska. Ball at the 38-yard line of Nebraska, first and 10, Oklahoma State. 9.21 to go in the half, and it's 7-3 the Sooners. Right, so for the Huskers. Boy, Oklahoma people, will they beat Texas today? Don't no, forgive me. And there's Thomas getting down to about the 32-yard line, a pickup of six, second down and six. I just figured out something, Paul. You were down in Auburn last week and saw them blitz Mississippi. We saw what they did to Florida State. Since Tennessee beat them, Auburn has gone home to score 100 points in two games. And their opposition has scored not much, although Florida State did score more than 30 today. And that's not enough. That's always a high-scoring game. 42-41 last week. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. <laughs> Nearly 1,000 yards already. <laughs> He's only nine short. Oh, yeah. And only has played five games. Around the tight end in motion. And Thurman Thomas is looking for some place to go, but he's not going to get it because Brian Washington, they love his play as a monster man. Number five made the stop. Third down, and maybe five and a half yards to go as a result. Well, a defensive end takes everything down to the inside. And then Mark Noonan, or Munford, excuse me, number 41, watch what he does. He's the man that comes up on Thomas and forces him back. And when he does that, Brian Washington is right there to make the play for the loss. Team defense. That's called a third and six from a 34. That's Brian Washington. And he is a sophomore out of Highland Springs, Virginia. Ronnie Williams 
Boy's got a man right across the middle. Flag goes down. Could be holding yes. as the catch is made by Dillard again. But the flag went right down at the feet of Ronnie Williams. And that should negate that first down. Tell the official. Tell the official. And Newman says that's what it is. So we're waiting for our referee, John McClintock, to tell us what it is. As Scow, an outstanding defensive lineman, makes the call. Jim, I would run that exact same play one more time, and then I'd throw the ball to number 34, Thurman Thomas, because you know who they're trying to cover him with in the flat? Brad Smith, number 81, who's the left defensive end. That's not going to work, is it? I don't think so. Illegal use of hands. It's a five-yard penalty on the offense. Not a holding penalty. Illegal use of hands penalty. Five yards. Now, that's Danny Noonan, number 95, coming up. Do they grab him? I don't know if that's where it's at. But Dillard is back. open downfield. In any event, it is third down 11. Put the ball at the 39 of Nebraska. They lead 7-3. Williams, look at Thomas, look at that arm, and the man falls down, the intended receiver, who was Beck, number 21, across the way. Beck didn't have much of a chance, because they, they were banging him from the time he comes off. Now watch, here comes Beck. He's going to run a, like a post-out move, but he doesn't have a chance. They're, they're just banging him. That's Davis on one side. He pushed off. You know what? We're going to have our first punt of the game. Rich Thompson in to do the kicking, and they send back Siebler as the safety man, standing back on about his 11. Thompson would like to dump it somewhere between the 20 and the goal line, of course. Puts it up high, and I think it's too good, meaning too far. No, no, yes. It is thrown back out. Will they allow that? Flag goes down in the end zone, and let's see what the call is. They were in the end zone. They're going to say, I'm sure, that feet were not touching the ground, and they knocked it back out. They're marking the ball at the six, but their flag's down, so hold on. They've not moved one way or the other yet. A touchback. It's a first down. It is a touchback. It is a touchback. Reminder that tomorrow... We continue our coverage of the National Hockey League as we began last week. The Flyers and the Capitals. As a matter of fact, this week we began it, didn't we? Sunday night, 7 o'clock. And we're going to be around right through the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here it is early October, and the National Hockey League is underway, and ESPN is underway with the National Hockey League. First down, and that's the second man through, and that's the eye back, and that's Paul Miles in this case. And Miles is put shut down by John Washington after a pickup of a couple of yards. Jim, this is, this is really a tough play to run because you run all the way back to the halfback in order to hand him the ball. Now, we're going to take a look at the reaction. Ricky Adams is number 54. He's going to move up inside. Blankenship is number 70, blocking out on the outside. And that's just that play just takes too long to develop. But they still picked up three. That is Miles, the man in motion. And here they come this way. And that is Von Shepard carrying the ball. And Shepard's got the first down across the 30-yard line. Von Shepard. The Nebraska 32. Tackle made by number 40, James Ham. Jim, these linemen may only average 6'2 and 270, and as big as they are, can they pull out? The guards are just awesome. Blankenship, now it's Parker's in there, number 74 at the other guard. They can really haul it. Now they do not have the eye back set up. They have Miles, rather, as a flanker, and Raffin, or rather, Kalen carries the ball. He is coming at fullback, and not much there, as Ricky Adams helps stack it up an inside linebacker. And so second down and 10. All right, James Ham is number 40. He's just firing into the gap. Number 70 is Blankenship making a block on him, but that's Leslie O'Neill that gets, gets a foot, and then Adams, number 54, puts him down. Second down. Actually, a little bit better than 11. The same offensive lineup. Only this time, they throw the ball out here. And it is caught and run out of bounds. And that is Rod Smith. And Smith makes his second catch. And he is about a half a yard short of the first down, I think. I think you're absolutely right. Good for you. <laughs> 5.59 to go in the first half. 7-3. Let's see. Snyder. They're going to measure he this, says, Jim. He is getting the Huskies. You look marvelous. Nebraska wants a measurement just to see how much 
they know they don't have the first down, but they want to see just how much they need. Bring it all the way over in front of the Nebraska bench. Nebraska lost its opening game to Florida State. Next week, they go down to Missouri, which has been taking it on the chin. Woody Wadenhofer down there. We have one yet. And next Saturday night, Paul and I will be down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Kentucky, down there at Louisiana State parades out a fellow by the name of Dalton Hilliard. And we'll be there to watch those two hook up in the Southeastern Conference battle. And all we have to worry about now is when we get in there is have Gus Piazza get the crawfish ready. Tell you what, you got that eating done right, haven't you? <laughs> 7-3 Nebraska, third down and inches to go at their own 41. Second man through, Miles, and Miles has got the first down. Leslie O'Neill, the first to hit him, but Miles moves out across the 43-yard line, and that is enough for the first down. The man that makes the play is Leslie O'Neill. Now, he's your All-American, number 99. Take a look at it. They're blocking down to the inside on Leslie O'Neill. He feels the pressure of the block by Roth, and he goes back to the outside and makes the play, but they already had the first down. Biggest play of this game has been the long run of DeBose down deep in Nebraska, right of Oklahoma State territory, where Nebraska's Clayton took it over. Clayton's got the ball now, and he does not pitch out, and wow, did Adams level him. Inside linebacker, number 54, Adams leveled Clayton after a gain of a half a yard. Second down and 10. Parker's limping off. McCormick goes back in for his spot. But there, there was some hammer, and here comes Adams. This is what happens when you hold on the ball just a little bit too long. Bang. <laughs> he knew it. No one to pitch to. Second down. Oh, a little mix-up there, and still with the ball is Schnitzler, and he only got a yard. They were bumping into everybody. Warren Thompson put him down. But Rob Schnitzler... Clayton and his back Miles ran into each other and out of all that came Snipsler on the reverse. Remember it was reversed a little while ago that really caused Oklahoma State a lot of problems. And Warren Thompson number 91 who is the defensive end, the double E and, and what a great play he made. He just got off the blocker and made the play. Third down and eight to go. This is about a passing team remember. They have passed tonight and look to go. They'll try to pass now if they can. And Clayton's going to put it up, and it is caught. What a play by Shepard. First down. At the 38-yard line, had Clayton all but doomed, and he got out of it with a great pass to Shepard. He'll make yeah. a great catch. Oh, he does. Shepard makes, watch the extension of his body. He's going to turn out now. He sees Clayton in trouble. The thing, you, got, you have two choices. Come to him or get away from him. Mike Hudson doesn't stay, but look at the extension on Shepard to make the catch. Now here's here's the play by Clayton. Number two coming from the back side. Gilliam, he had a shot at him earlier, but his own man knocked him off. Seven three Nebraska, and here they come again. Clayton still got the ball and putting it up and deep. And in the end zone is caught by Sittler. Touchdown Nebraska, no flag on the play. 38-yard touchdown pass. And for Clayton, that is his first. And for Stitzler, that is his second. Jim, super fake. Stitzler makes the catch, and it's a perfect throw. But watch Williams, number five. Now, instead of running with Stitzler, look at He's looking back at the ball the entire way. Now, what he should have done was turn his head and run to the football or to the receiver. 4-13 to go. And it is 14-3. to and again, this was an outstanding play. When you have something like this, you should see it again. All right, here's the play action to Miles up, in, up, up inside. But take a look at the throw by Clayton. And I do blame Williams for this play because the entire way for the last 15 yards, he looked back at the ball, and you can't run at full speed. Soft touch, Jim. Watch, he lays it just up in the air and lets Snitzer go after the football right in his stomach. No fluke there. Clayton tonight has run for a touchdown and now has thrown his first touchdown pass. And it is 14 to 3. Oklahoma State has moved the ball extremely well, but they have not been able to stop the big play of Nebraska, the run by DeVos, the outstanding throw and catch of Clayton, 
and Shepard, and finally the touchdown pass for 38 yards. Three big plays. And now after Drennan tried to kick off once, Dale Klein will come in and kick off. 4-13 in the half left as Bobby Roddy goes back as the deep man for the kick. Time for Oklahoma State. They can strike, and they'll have to strike, because this Nebraska team just gets better and better and better as games and seasons wear on. And the clash down the line, if you did not hear, and Bob Lee will have everything at halftime, yes, Oklahoma did beat Texas today, 14-7, to despite the fact that Texas had minus yardage in the second half and only four first downs in the entire game. And, of course, Oklahoma and Nebraska share the championship as defenders. And Oklahoma State would like to crack that group. Here's Riley at the goal line. Remember, he's got some speed, and down he goes shy of the 20-yard line. Now Ron Williams will come out. The America's Cup. You know, six U.S. challenges are going to spend about $100 million vying for the right to go down to Perth, Australia, and bring the Cup back to the United States. That will not happen until February 87. But there's a lot of trials, a lot of building, a lot of sailing between now and then. And ESPN's going to be there the whole way. And on November the 3rd, be with us for America's Cup 87. Bring back the Cup. Actually, it is Australia's Cup at the moment. We just so often call it the America's Cup. First down, single back offense again for the Cowboys. And here is Thomas. And Thomas is caught right in the backfield. That is a fine play there by Jim Scow, number 96. Nine plays, 80 yards. The final, the 38-yard pass from Clayton. But give a lot of credit also to Shepard for extending his body as he did to make that big first down. The thing that was important about that, that was a third down play, Jim, that third he made the long. reception. Third and long. 335 left in the half. Nebraska by 11. Second down and 12. Again, they're team on Thomas, and down he goes. And guess who? Same man, Jim Scow. Two for two, two losses. Looked like the last two times that no one blocked Scout. Is that Burton, number 66, on that side? I'm not sure. No, Scout, Burton's blocking out. Scout just comes in the backfield, and no one touched him. Ball at the 14-yard line now. Third down and 14 to go. Weimer goes wide to the right. Bonnie Williams. Look, look. Ball is batted up, but nobody can get to it. Two Nebraska men tried to come back from their coverage to get the ball, but could not. And now they'll have to kick the ball away. And that is the most ineffective three downs that Oklahoma State has had. And the Cowboys, knowing that they have not beaten Nebraska since 1961, might be a little shell-shocked at the moment after three big plays have produced two touchdowns for Nebraska in this, the second quarter. Rich Thompson... They kick the ball away. Thompson kicks the ball away. No place at all. The seed of the ball. At the 46-yard line with 243 left. Back was made by none, but the flag back at the 29-yard line, so hold on. Holding call against Nebraska. Well, that's just going to be tacked off from there because the ball was already kicked away. Nebraska now moving back. They expect the same call. They keep the ball. Oklahoma State hopes that you and the officials in Nebraska are not right, but they do <laughs> keep the ball. They were hoping to get it. The ball first down, 2.43 to go in the half. And this predominantly Cowboy crowd, very, very quiet now. As they move the ball back, 10 yards from the 46, and should put it down about the 36. They'll put it just down to the 35, so they must have marked the ball at 45. 11-yard penalty. Across the line, pass enforcement, 10 yards, it's first down. First down, remember tomorrow here on ESPN, the Flyers and the Capitals live the National Hockey League, 7 o'clock Eastern time. Let's see how Nebraska plays this. There's a lot of time left on the clock. They've got good field position at their own 35. Oh, they'll give the ball to DeVos. No, that's Clayton who keeps the ball. And 
Only one defender really knew that he had it, and that was Mark Moore, and he's the man that put Clayton down. Miami rolling over Cincinnati 17 to nothing. And Georgia has now moved out in front of Ole Miss 14 to 7, and that's a halftime score. Arkansas, Texas Tech having a little battle. It's 7 0 Arkansas. LSU, we will see them next Saturday night against Kentucky, leading Vanderbilt 21 0. Army running the ball well. Obviously, that's what they do, leading Boston College 10 0. Bob Lee has everything at the half. Second down and short. And Clayton's going to throw on second. Hey, Nebraska, look, they got a man out there. And the ball is caught out there by Stitzler, who caught the touchdown pass. Remember what McCarthy Clayton was saying before the game. We haven't thrown because we haven't had to, but we can throw. Jim, watch what, I'll tell you what makes this thing so difficult. Watch where Snitzler catches this ball. That's Gilliam that's chasing him number two. But look, and it's over the blind shoulder. He keeps his arms together, catches it with his fingers. Just a great catch. You know, we've seen Shepard and Snitzler make great catches, and they're not thrown to that much. They've got the hands. The ball inside the 25 at the 23. Here comes Nebraska again, wanting another before halftime. DeVos with the football inside the 20-yard line with a minute 37 and counting on the clock, and Nebraska already up by 11 and looking for seven more. Hudson made the stop, and now time has been called, and they call it for Nebraska. That's their second. With 1.31 left, we'll take leave from Stillwater, Oklahoma for just a moment and come back. All the scoring has been in the second quarter after they traded turnovers in the first quarter. O'Donnell's 28-yard field goal made it 3-0 Oklahoma State since then. DeVoe set up Clayton's one-yard run. And then there was a pass to Sisler, 38 yards, after Shepard made a great catch to set that up. It's 14-3 Nebraska. And they've got a minute and 31 seconds in which to try to add yet another score before intermission. The ball at the 19-yard line of Oklahoma State. Second down six. Tom Osborne's group rolling right along. The Bows goes in motion. Clayton still with the ball. He's been on target. Now fires the ball out and hits Shepard again. And he's put down by number 40 out there, James Ham, the linebacker. Well, Shepard made the mistake. He tried to cut back inside and pick up the first down or score a touchdown. And all he would really want him to do is get out of bounds because the clock is running. They only have one timeout. And what the coach wanted to tell Clayton in that timeout when it was second down is looking. If the pass is there, throw it. If not, throw it away. We'll take, we want to get at least three out of this. Third down from the 16-yard line. And about four to go. And off in a delay to Bowes. He's got the first down, and he's inside the five-yard line. First and goal to go. Flag down, but let's go down to Bob Lee. Jim on the banks of the Hudson tonight. Army looking very good against B.C. That senior Doug Black on a second and sixth play, ripping off a 33-yard gain from his own 45. And then Corey Crawford calls his own number. B.C. in trouble. Army on top by the count of 10 to nothing. I'll be by at halftime. All the scores and highlights. Now back to Stillwater. Jim? Thank you, Bob Lee. And we'll see and hear a lot more of you at halftime with all the scores. But thanks for the report on Army and Boston College. That flag that went down, big break for Oklahoma State. Clipping called. Instead of first and goal to go, move the ball back to the 23-yard line with 51 seconds to go. On the offense, we'll repeat third down. What is third down now, and about 11 to go. Jim, on that last play, when they threw that ball to Shepard in the flat, they had Smithler going down and across the end zone. The middle of the field is going to be open, and this is where Clayton must look for Smithler. Smithler is to the left at the moment, and here's Clayton looking and under pressure and puts the ball up, and look out, and the ball is not caught by Shepard. Indeed, everybody was there, including Denise Williams, who was fooled earlier tonight for a touchdown. This time, he was right with Shepard and broke it up. Clayton was looking for Snitzer going straight up downfield, but then he sees Shepard coming across. Now, watch Williams. Just an excellent play. This ball actually hit Shepard in the hands. He had it and then dropped it. Oh. <laughs> Sucker sticker. <laughs> that, that. And now a 40-yard field goal attempt. This will be made by Klein. And he's got it from 40 yards out. Klein, who is known as the short field goal kicker, puts it through, and it is 17-3. Nebraska leads by two touchdowns with 23 seconds to go. 
Never can believe his coach's ball. He said any place outside of about 20, it'll be Drennan. And Klein will handle the shortstop, and Dale just kicked one of 40 yards. We sat with, with Coach today, Osborne. He said, we don't throw deep. <laughs> <laughs> College football report, Sports Center, Bob Lee all around with the gang at halftime. And a special feature on Tom Osborne, the head coach. Some surprises today in collegiate football. And, of course, the Dodgers lost once today. Championship game in the American League going on tonight. Lots to talk about. And a second half here in Oklahoma State, which looked terrific in the first quarter and came away with nothing and then came up with three points in the second half only to be blitzed since then. Here is the passing offense. Nebraska's 94, but they'll go up after the night. And Williams has to get on the ball here to bring his up from a ranking of 96. They'll go to 93. <laughs> That's about it. Al Green is the deep man now. Running back, also playing defensive back for Oklahoma State, and now to return kicks, and it is Klein to kick off. And so this is Green at the two-yard line. Oklahoma State looking for field position and do not get field position whatsoever. The tackle made there by Fort. At the 15-yard line, 19 seconds to go, I would assume that Pat Jones just wants to get out of here at halftime. Here's the scoring drive, 65 yards and only five plays. Three of those were passes. That's so un-Nebraska-like. When are you going to see that? Remember, when they went into this game, they averaged 80 plays a game, and 67 of them are running plays, 13 pass plays. First down from the 15. Thurman Thomas, and he's not been able to get out of the backfield the last two or three times that he's carried the ball. Noonan, the middle guard, comes in and puts him down, and they're going to let this thing run out. Well, the second half could be a different story, but Nebraska, which hasn't lost to Oklahoma State in, well, since 1961, go to the locker room at halftime, up by 14 points. At the half, Nebraska 17, and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State 3. But I can guarantee you there's still a second half to come, and it should be a good one. But for all the news in sports, let's go to Bob Lee. Jim, when you look at the score, 17-3 to Nebraska, there's no, there's, look at 175 yards rushing. But the surprising thing is the 114 yards passing for Nebraska, something we didn't think we were going to see. But they are right in target with their 80 plays per game. They have 38 plays that they've run in the first half. So they're right there. And Doug DeBose is already over 100 yards, including a 50-yarder. And Clayton scored the first ever rushing touchdown by either team in the last two years in a space of three games between Nebraska and Oklahoma State. And now the Cowboys have to have something happen. As Dale Klein kicks off, and Riley comes all the way out to the seven-yard line to take the return. And Riley gets across the 20. And now Oklahoma State has to get something a lot better than what we saw in the latter part of the second quarter going. Jim, we're taking a look at Force coming down, number 38, and Deckard, number 47. Oh, this is what it takes to go down and break the wedge. <laughs> I love it. He's up. He's well. He's all right. I am for Nebraska. <laughs> that, that, that's a pretty good tag right there. Roddy Williams, number 15. He's got Joe Miller, 25, and Thurman Thomas. Now he's got a one-back offense with only Thurman Thomas back there. And he's going to give the ball to Thomas. And Thomas, well, that's what was happening to him in the second quarter. After a very good first quarter, Thomas was simply shut down. Now, Oklahoma State, the first time they got the ball, they moved it from their own 30-yard line in 10 plays all the way down to the 19 where they fumbled. The second time, they started on the 25. 14 plays, they didn't get a field goal. But now, look at the next three. A punt. A punt from deep in their own territory, and then half ran out as their offense ran out. From the 24-yard line, second down seven, Oklahoma State trailing 17-3. to three. Two backs in there now. Williams back to throw. Look at this. That's a gun out there for Weimer, isn't it? And Weimer's got the first down out near the 38-yard line, where he is put down by Byron Siebler. Siebler, it's first down Oklahoma State. Jim, they run this play very well. Watch Weimer. He'll come in, and Riley will come out underneath. They just open that hole in the zone defense because they know that Nebraska plays zone. 
And right there, perfect pass on target to the 38-yard line, almost 39. Williams has got the arm to bring them back, Paul, but it's a long way to come back, but there's a lot of time in which to do it. Whoop, lost the football, and that's going to cost him a down right there and maybe a yard, second down 11. That Jones, he really thought his team had a chance to win and still has a chance to win, but in order to win, he said, we must throw the football. Well, that time they tried to go on a quick snap, and Williams, Ronnie Williams, just didn't get the ball from the center, David Tucker. Second and 11. Bobby Roddy goes out wide to the left. Don't forget the tight end. He caught three in the first half. And don't forget Hartley Dykes, who's over here on the right. He had a good first half. Williams. Not under great pressure. Look at that arm. But it's, look who's going to catch the ball. It's going to be caught instead by Brian Davis, as though he were the intended receiver. Well overthrown. And Davis is across the 35 to the 38. And now this is trouble for Oklahoma State. They failed to move the ball. They've given the ball over to Nebraska, which already has a 14-point lead. Jim, I don't know whether Dykes pulled a hamstring or what because he stopped running. Williams is just, just, a, just a fly route for Dykes, number 11, running downfield on Davis. And take a look at Williams just laying the ball out, but Dykes stopped running. Here it comes. Now watch here. Does he pull something? Because he looks like he doesn't have a chance for the ball. Now he just slows down. Well, the ball is handed off now. She's come back live with DeBose, and there goes DeBose, still running. First down inside the 45-yard line of Oklahoma State. Here comes Nebraska. They had a good first half after a slow start in the first quarter. All right, Jim, when we look at their possessions, it's 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 the way they draw it up on the board. We're going to see it after this next play. It's just incredible. And when, I, when we look at this thing, just look at the left-hand side, the number of plays per drive. Clayton with the first down at the 44, and DeBose with the football for, oh, a yard or two, and that is all. Leslie O'Neill puts him down. All right, Jim, here we go. Ten plays, they missed the field goal, all right? Now eight plays, they fumbled the ball. They were in territory to score. Eight plays, touchdown. Ten plays, touchdown. Seven plays, field goal. And that they makes control it 70 the to three. Mm -hmm. Is there a producer? <laughs> And director. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and nine. Oklahoma State's not laughing. They're in trouble here. Layton keeps the football and does not go anywhere with it. And it is third down and nearly 10 to go. Ricky Adams makes the stop right there. The Cowboys simply have to shut them down. Now, the same situation existed last year. Oklahoma State was 4-0, highly ranked, went to Lincoln, Came away in the game that they thought they could have won, losing 17 to three. Jim, they've taken, they got two quarterbacks in the game now. Turner is under center. They're going to throw the ball to Clayton. Now Clayton has the option to either pass he's or run, pass. and he's going to pass to Schnitzer. And the ball is broken up back there on a fine play. Denise Williams, I believe, number five, getting up. Tom Osborne invented a lot of gadgets. He and Bobby Bowden probably have more gadgets per game than any of the two coaches that I know of in major college football. All right, Turner takes the ball and he throws it back to Clayton. I didn't mean to do your play-by-play. -play. I'm sorry. But when I saw the, the will line up on the outside with three wide receivers, then Turner just throws it down to Snitzler all the way downfield. Good coverage by Williams. They never stayed away from their man. And Wingard in for the first time to pump the ball away. Riley's the man who's deep. Take it away from him. No rush on at all, and that ball is going to make it into the end zone by plenty. And so we'll come out to the 20-yard line. Well, Oklahoma State has dodged the bullet, but they still are in the short end of the score, 17-3. to three. Saturday night, CFA football on ESPN is brought to you by... Jeep Cherokee. There's a feeling you can get only in a Jeep. By IBM and the growing company of IBM Personal Computers. By Dickies. They're America's favorite work clothes, but who says you have to work in them? And by Mutual of Omaha. People you can count on. First and 10 from the 20, Oklahoma State. Early in the second half, they're down by 14. Single back offense again. Williams to throw, puts it out there. It is caught there by Hartley Dyke, or rather Riley. And apparently he fumbled the ball. And let's see who gets it. Nebraska gets it. And 
And now the Huskers again have a chance to administer an early coup d'etat here in the third quarter. Tough with times for Pat Jones. Oh, and here's a play that was going to be able to pick up nine yards. And they throw the ball out here to Riley. Makes a super catch. Coming up is Miller. He actually misses, but that's Mumford, the linebacker, that got all the way to the outside and made the hit, caused the fumble. And Cleo Miller jumped on the ball. Again, Nebraska with a golden opportunity. Up by 14 already. Give to the fullback, Rathman. And now, let us go to Bob Lee with another update on another game going on tonight. Jim at West Point. Army just keeps on rolling. Clarence Jones late in the second quarter with this 10-yard jaunt. Boston College in trouble, and Army continues rolling. They are at halftime now at Mikey Stadium. The cadets up 17-0. Jim? Thank you, Bob. That's an alert sign they got there. They got a relatively new ESPN logo. It is second down and seven to go for Nebraska. They on the handoff and no place to go for Paul Miles. Started to say, Paul, before they lined up two quarterbacks in the game over there, that a year ago at this time, Oklahoma State was highly ranked, 4-0, went into Lincoln, thought they could have won the ball game, lost it 17-3. Here they come in fifth ranked in the country, Nebraska tenth ranked in the country, haven't beaten them since 1961, and lo and behold, they're down by the score of 17-3. Now, no team all year has scored in the third quarter of Nebraska, and no team all year has scored a touchdown on Oklahoma State in the second half. Two field goals by North Texas State, but that's been it. Things may change here. There's Clayton standing up on a slant, and Snitzler's got the ball first down at the 11 yard line. Put down there by number 44, Mark Moore. And Nebraska opening up through the air tonight, and that will serve notice down the line to Missouri, Colorado, and ultimately Oklahoma that this team can throw the football. Mike Cutson lets Snitzler get to the inside, and there is a great hit by Mark Moore, but more than anything else, I'm really impressed with, with Clayton throwing the football. They say they've never really had a good passer at Nebraska. They have one now. Well, Ferragamo wasn't bad. David Hum wasn't bad. There have been some, and a quick handoff again to the fullback, and that is Rathman, and he gets a couple of yards down to about the nine, where it is second down and eight to go. Get the ball to the one. They got a first down. John Washington has been making a lot of stops tonight, and he made that one. Well, you know, in talking with the people around the state of Oklahoma, they said, what does it take for Oklahoma State to get the same kind of recognition as Oklahoma and Nebraska? The obvious answer is beat Oklahoma and Nebraska, and you will get that recognition, and that's what they're trying to do tonight. We have a new center in the game, Jim Cooper, is him. Bill Lewis limped off the field. And he's an all-Big A performer. Here's Clayton still holding on to the football and caught from behind and fumbles the football away, and I think Nebraska gets it back at the 23. And it is third down, and a bundle to go, 22 yards to go for the first down, 23 for the touchdown. Jim, this is a play from the backside. Now, Clayton, he doesn't see coming from his backside, and it's, that's number two, Gilliam, that comes back and knocks the ball away. Nebraska hustle, they get the ball. Pat Jones, watch this. He's, we got it. No, they have it. No, we got it. We have it. We have it. We have it. Oh, no, they got it. Third and long, 22 for the first down. Clayton loops it up down the sidelines, and the ball is almost caught. Williams does a good job on Rob Smith. Denise Williams was beaten once tonight for a touchdown, but has been in on some outstanding plays defensively. Again, Jim, look where Clayton puts the football. The only thing you can do is knock it down, or else Smith is going to be able to make the catch. It's up high enough, over the shoulder. That's just a beautiful toss. Smith had his hands on it. But Williams knocks the ball away. Dale Kleiner has one 40-yard field goal. We'll try to make it two. Line from 40 yards out. He's good. And it is 20 to 3. Line with two 40-yarders. And Nebraska with two touchdowns. And Pat Jones' group has a long way to come back. As he gives it the old dipsy do, but his team still trailed by 17. Irby Husker has been signing for years and laughing for years and years at Nebraska and Lincoln. Why not? He's had a lot of good football teams to cheer for, and this looks to be a good one here. And they've unveiled a quarterback who can throw the football. 
We told he was a runner. Klein kicks off. Riley in the end zone. They come out to the 20-yard line. And Williams will try to get going. He is sputtered of late. The quarterback spot. You can see in the second half against Oklahoma State, only six points on those two field goals. And Nebraska, you're looking the third quarter, they got nothing. They're only 15 points in the second half by their opponents. And there have been three points scored in this second half. But Nebraska is up by 17. And the bigger thing is they're shutting down Oklahoma State's offense. And you can't really get away from Thurman Thomas because he's their big gun. He has not had a run of more than a couple of yards since the first quarter. Williams will have to do it with his arm. Puts it out here, and Williams gets it out here. And that is J.R. Dillard, the tight end. And he is over the 35-yard line. First down, Brad Smith ran him out of bounds. Da -da. Don't get away from the tight end. Remember I said that in the last series of downs? Here comes Dillard again. It's a rollout play. No problem here. Burton is out in front, and they just get the ball to Dillard. They're trying to cover him with the end, which is Brad Smith, number 81, and they can't do that. 8.25 left in the third quarter. Beck goes wide to the left. Oklahoma State is depending now on sophomore Ronnie Williams and his great arm. And a fellow by the name of Thurman Thomas, but that's the way he has been stacked up since early in the second quarter. No running room at all. Mike Knox leads the way there. Second down and seven to go from a 39-yard line. Jim, great reaction from the two inside linebackers, Mark Munford, number 41, and Mike Knox, number 44. They are playing it so well. Their job is really to stay with Thurman Thomas. Weimer and Becker, your wideouts. Miller, the fullback. Timmons not playing tonight. He's hurt. And here is Ronnie Williams. Whoops. There is Ronnie Williams running for his life. And there he's turning along for a first down and gets out of bounds in Nebraska territory at the 49. First of all, Scow, number 96, the right tackle. Pat, get, get happy. Now, here comes Scow, the defensive lineman. And Shanklin's blocking on him. Now, he, the pressure comes up from the inside by Noonan, number 95. Scow looks like he might have Williams there, but this is a super run by Williams. Now he's going to get some help from his blockers downfield. Williams picks up the first down. Brown, number 86, who is a tight end, either hit someone or get out of the way. Bobby Riley is back in as a wideout. He's to the right. And this time they'll try Miller, and he gets down to the 45-yard line. A gain of four. Second down and six from there. Nebraska, very impressive in this series, as we've told you. They won their last nine in a row here. Meaning Oklahoma State has, but when you get against Nebraska, they've lost their last five in a row. Meaning in regular season play, the last nine in a row have been won by Oklahoma State. But against Nebraska, they lost five in a row. The Huskers are 9-1-1 one, and one here. And they've not lost Oklahoma State since 1961. Their overall record is 22-2-1. That's why Oklahoma State has a tough time getting some respect in this Big 8. They've had the statistics, as Pat Jones says, and a lot of good players. This ball's going to be thrown out of bounds. Intended down there for Weimer. But Jones has a 10 and 2 record from last year, and yes, the only two games he lost, he won the Gator Bowl, were in the Big Eight to Nebraska and to Oklahoma. Third down. Williams is now 13 of 20 for 174 yards. 6.57 to go. The ball at the 45 yard line, third down and six to go. Big play here. They're down by 17. Bobby Riley out here one-on-one -on -one with Davis. Williams to throw under no pressure at the moment. Now gets them from the backside. He can run for the first down. Will again and will go out of bounds again at the 30. The market at the 29. First down, Oklahoma State. Jim, if he'd have thrown it, if he could have seen Bobby Riley running down number one, he was wide open. But watch what Williams does. Ronnie Williams is looking at Riley. He knows he's almost going to cock and throw, but he can't right here. Sees pressure from the backside, so he just takes off. Holloway, number 91, chased him out of the pocket. Heads up play by the quarterback. Cowboys need to come away with something here, and they need seven, not three. Although there's a lot of time, better than 21 minutes of playing time left. Here's Williams a short drop this time. Still looking, 
and throws short, and that was for Weimer. No flag down as Mike Carl was the man on him. And obviously the Oklahoma State fans figured there should have been a flag thrown. Weimer thought there was pass interference. There's a nice man, but he's not having a good night. He really is. All right. Carl is the man number 42 that's coming in. Now, he reaches in. I, I don't know. I would have called pass interference because Carl hit Weimer before the ball got there. Weimer goes out to the left again. It is second down 10 from the 29. Here's Williams. Look at that arm. He has he got an arm. Riley takes it out. Of the 15 yard line, but that's enough for a first down as the Cowboys try to get it going with six and a half minutes gone in the third quarter. Or I should say six and a half left in the third quarter, 20 to 3, Nebraska. Ron Davis is sitting number 32, is sitting so far off of Bobby Riley. He had enough time to run downfield, get beyond the first down marker, break it to the outside, and with Williams' gun, he got it there. Remember, both of the quarterbacks you're seeing tonight, Clayton with an outstanding night for Nebraska, and Williams trying to get something going for Oklahoma State. Both are sophomores. Here's Williams being chased. And down he goes. Fine play there by Jim Scow. And that's about the third time. Hold it. That is Jones instead. Lee Jones. Lee Jones is breaking to the outside. You see him right in the picture, in the middle of the picture. Now Lee Jones jumps to the outside. They're trying to pull to get him on the outside. Beecham, number 58, never gets to Jones. He just gets Williams by the feet, and down they go, and there's a loss of 12 yards. Yeah, 12 yards. Second down and 22 from back at the 27. Here's Williams. Look at his arm again, and he's right between some men to Riley down to the 11-yard line. That's going to be third down by five. A flag goes down. It may be first down after this call. Mumford may be called for a late hit, and that would be first down and goal to go if that is the call. It's going to be on Mumford, number 41. The linebacker came in. That's it. Williams simply gunned that ball between all those defenders to Riley, who got it down to the 11, and Mumford made the late hit, and they're going to move it on even closer to the goal line. From just over the five, it will be first and goal to go. Just the final on the defense. It's first down. A quick score here, and the Cowboys are back in the ball game. They're going to see. I think we're going to see it here. Riley just hooks inside, and look at this gun by Williams. He hits him right on target, and he's down here. Now watch over the top. There's Mumford hits him in the head. Uh -oh. No one has scored yet on Nebraska third quarter. State's not worried about that statistic. They're worried about the score on the scoreboard. And here comes Williams, and there's his man, and he, oh, does he make the catch? Yes, the catch by Dillard, the tight end. almost it's not a bootleg because he's rolling Williams is and the only man out in the pattern is Dillard I take a look at Mumford number 41 a linebacker again trying to cover the tight end it's touched down Roy O'Donnell comes in and it is perfect and 532 to go in the third quarter and the first score against Nebraska in the third quarter this year makes it a ball game the Cornhuskers out in front by 10 all right, here comes Williams again. The fake to the inside. They, that'll hold everyone there. And then here comes Dillard to the outside. He taps it, puts the ball in front of him, both hands on it, falls on the ball. The Cowboy fans are standing as O'Donnell will kick off to John Kelly and Paul Miles. This is John Kelly from the four. And out across the 25-yard line. And it is first down from the 27. Jim, just watch the catch of Dillard. Now, Williams takes a little bit off the ball. All he's going to do now is just lob it up in the air to, to let Dillard go underneath it. He taps it. Now here's the catch. Two hands on the ball. 
when you look at that, Jim, that's oh, not a touchdown. Oh, it looked like a ball hit the ground, didn't it? And he but did not have possession. Pat Jones doesn't care. Look at a little trapsickery tr here. He is something. <laughs> that was not a touchdown, folks. You saw the ball hit the ground. Maybe we'll look at it one more time. And here's a quick pitch back, and this is Miles trying to get outside, and he is run down for a loss by Ricky Adams. And you don't think they're not charged up, meaning the crowd and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Now, if the ball hits the ground, now watch. There's no possession here. Watch. He does not have possession there, well, and the ball go. hits the ground. Now he's got it. See, the official is behind him, Jim. He's in no position to see the play. It should have been called from the other side. Second down. Clayton, who's had good success throwing the ball tonight, is in trouble, and down he goes for another loss to the 22. It'll be third down and 15. Marvin Hawkins, the middle guard. Some call him middle guard, some call him the nose guard. Pat Jones looking for intensity, enthusiasm, and good play from his team. I can tell you, he told that team at halftime, just hang in there, things will work. Late on third down and 15, puts it up out here and way out of bounds, almost in the first row of the seats. It's fourth down, and with 4-0-4 to go, Nebraska is up 20-10, to 10, but the Cowboys get the ball back. And Tom Osborne knows the game is not over yet. I don't think he ever thought it was over, but he can see that the Cowboys are coming on. Dan Wingard is in for only his second punt of the night. And they have put Thurman Thomas, who returned one for a touchdown this year, back inside the 35. Rush is not on. They want to set it up, and this could be one that he could return as Thomas takes it at the 35, looking home, falls down. Falls down at the 35-yard line. No return down there at all. He was covered, but it makes no never mind, as they say, because he was already down. 3.55 to go, third quarter, Nebraska 20, Cowboys 10. And here come Ronnie Williams and company on field for the Cowboys. Remember how quiet I said it was here? What was that, about 15 minutes ago? Change that. It's Spedlin. First down, Oklahoma State at their own 34. Ten point difference in the ball game, third quarter. The fake. And here comes Weimer around this way, but holding on is Williams going down there for Riley. And Riley catches the ball. First down, 16 yard line. The second great catch by Riley tonight. Jim, you got to watch what Riley does. First of all, the ball is thrown a little bit short. He slipped coming off the line. Seabler is the man that's down there with him. Now he just turns his body back towards the ball. Seabler is now he looks. When you look that way, you're going away from the ball. Riley pulled him down. He put his hands on a defender that is offensive pass interference, first of all, but they let him get away with it. But it is first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Oklahoma State. Williams to Thomas. He's not run well lately. He hasn't been able to get outside, but does here inside the 10. He's Ooh. got a first down at the 5. And a flag down after Thomas went out of bounds. They ran Thomas into that brick wall on the other side, and they're going to call it against Nebraska, which is going to be taken about to the two and a half yard line. 20 to 10, Nebraska. Nearly three and a half minutes to go. And the second personal foul against Nebraska in this is the third quarter. And each time deep in Nebraska territory. All right, here goes Thurman Thomas to the outside. First month for number 41. Not enough speed to grab. He had him by the hand. Now, who hits him out of bounds? That's number nine. Seaver and the man, and he hit that wall. Watch Joe. Get his pal. Watch this. He's, now he's mad. He's going after somebody. I think he's out of the coach's restraining lines. <laughs> He's trying to tell his coach, hey. <laughs> All right, one in a 10. 
I want Oklahoma somebody State looking for a score of some kind to enter the fourth quarter in the game. We're good. We're going to take these films and put Pat Jones to music. What kind of music? I don't care. We've got to put him to music. Give the ball to Thomas. Thomas fighting for the goal line and does not get there. Good defensive play by Nebraska. Jumps him back. It is second down and goal to go. The Bose is over 100 yards. The eye back for Nebraska. Thomas is approaching 70 yards for the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Second to Bo Jackson, who nearly hit the 200 mark again today. Bo Jackson. Second to goal to go, and the dive, and he does have it. Thomas. in right now because Oklahoma State smells their first victory in a long, long, long time. Joey O'Donnell in to add the extra point and does. And we've got 17 minutes and 42 seconds to play. Nebraska 20, Oklahoma State 17. Jim, here it is along the line of scrimmage, and now you'll be able to see Thomas just goes up over the top. The ball does make it across the goal line. There he is in the end zone, no question about it. But look at that offensive line fire out. They just took off. Burton and Tucker and Meacham just took off down, down the middle, gave him, Thurman Thomas, enough room to jump over the top, and that's touchdown. Here they come, right smack in your face. Look at that. They've got the defensive lineman on the ground when they have him down. Mumford, number 41, is there, but it's too late. In the first seven minutes of this second half, Nebraska scored a field goal to be up by 17. In the five minutes since, Oklahoma State has scored two touchdowns to make it 20 to 17. As Thomas took that one in to score his seventh touchdown of the year running the ball. And I can tell you right now, this Nebraska team, they do not get out of their game plan, my friend. I tell you right now, too, DeBose is back in there, not Kelly to return along with Miles. They put DeBose back there with Miles, their top two return men, as O'Donnell will kick it off. Is that Shepard back there? That looks like Shepard instead of Miles. Shepard and DeBose. They're moving him around. Last time was Kelly and Miles. They started out to Bose and Miles, and out is to Bose and Shepard. This place is wild. <laughs> Just wild. I love it, I love it. Bouncing ball, and that is going to be to Bose at the four-yard line. He's going to fake the throw back and then get tripped up and does not make it out to the 20. First down, Nebraska inside the 20. And gee, I hope that down in Tigerland next Saturday night we'll see this same kind of ball game. Paul and I will be there. Kentucky goes into the den. Louisiana State. Dalton Hilliard and Company, 7.30 Eastern Time. will be in Baton Rouge next Saturday night here on ESPN. And the city trying to tie the series at 2-all in the sixth, leading Toronto 1-0 to in the American League playoffs. There's the Bose, and the Bose gets through the middle and out to the 24-yard line. And that will take check that that's Miles in there, and it is second down and four. And again, I told you, they're not going to get Nebraska. They will not get away from their game plan. They can run the football. When you pick up six yards on first down, that's their game plan. And remember, Nebraska's got two outstanding units. They can wear you down, substituting liberally. Lost the football for the moment, and Miles is tripped up and may have the first down, maybe just shot. Looks like he's going to be tripped up at the 25, is out near the 28. When we're looking at the, we're looking at two quarterbacks tonight with, with great composure because Clayton drops the ball, but he has enough presence of mind to pick up the ball and go back in the right direction towards Miles. Miles picks up about three and a half yards on a play. They're only about a half a yard short of a first down. But remember, any time a Nebraska man drops the ball, do you think it may be the trick play that one of the linemen will pick it up and advance it? Remember the Orange Bowl? Oh, I hope we see that one. 
Third down. And the eye back miles. Well, they, they've got the first down, but I guarantee you, not by much. They moved the ball almost to the 29, and that is sufficient for the first down. Tackle made by Hudson. Yeah, but if Hudson doesn't make this tackle on Miles, Miles might still be running. Here is a great play on the outside. Hudson makes the play. Miles, look where the ball is. The ball is on, on the almost to the 29-yard line, Jim, and that should be a first down. Nevertheless, they will measure as we take a look at this. Leslie O'Neill, his stunt is to the inside, and when he had that stunt, Roth comes up back and they knock him to the inside. It is a first down. But see, when we're looking at Leslie O'Neill, when you see a play like that and, the, and you're blocking the All-American to the inside, Jim, his stunt was that way. And he's take, uh, almost taking himself out of the play. First down from the 29, 20 to 17, Nebraska, late third quarter. Clayton, he can run the football. He can run very well. And down he goes with John Washington, number 80, up top after picking up maybe six yards second down and four from near the 34 yard line so what it looks like oklahoma state's doing defensively jim on any any of that quarterback option coming down the line of scrimmage they're going to let the linebackers and and the corners and people like that worry about clayton coming down because the two safeties moore and hudson they are taking the toss man Clayton keeps the ball this time, turns the corner. Oh, what a hit he gets, shy of the first down. And that's that man, Mark Moore, again, down at the bottom. Jim, here it comes again, and this time Hudson is going to be staying on miles to the outside. When that happens, they worry about the inside people that are going to make the play. And here comes Mark Moore, he's making a play along with number six, Harry Roberts. Third down and a yard to go, 25 seconds to go in this quarter. Three point difference in the game. And there's the pitch back, and that is Shepard, and Shepard's got the first down across the 40 yard line, going out of bounds, stopping the clock with 12 seconds to go. Gilliam ran him out of bounds there, the right cornerback. The ball is out at the 43 and a half yard line. This has been some third quarter. Kalen goes in at fullback, and Rathman comes out for Nebraska. That clock is stopped because Shepard went out of bounds. There's Clayton, not reluctant to throw tonight, goes near the far sideline, and out of bounds is Rob Smith, and that's not a catch. He was out of bounds. And it is second down and 10. In college football, you only need one foot in bounds, and they said that Smith didn't get either one of them in bounds. It wasn't that he bobbled the ball. Still water will not be so still tonight if this Cowboy team pulls off this upset. Jim, isn't it surprising, though, that the Nebraska took the ball in their kickoff, and they want to maintain the football. They all running plays, picking, picking up two first downs, and then on the first down again on this play here, they threw the pass. gets across the 45 to the 47 yard line as time has run out we're seeing quite a game 20 to 17 Nebraska live from Stillwell Water Oklahoma Stillwell Stillwater Oklahoma Jim Simpson Paul McGuire next week we're down at Baton Rouge side of the sports festival and where LSU will entertain if that's the word Kentucky third down Nebraska seven to go Clayton looks to run for it, pitches back to Miles, and Miles does not have it. That play was busted on several occasions. But the ball will be down at the 49. They had to get it across the 47, and it'll be fourth down, and the kicking team is coming out. Now you hear this crowd go crazy. That time Clayton came down, he was going to hit a quick pop pass to the outside. The man was covered. Tell you what, as we watch the Nebraska cheerleader, the Oklahoma State teams change on the dead run and they put Thurman Thomas back for Wingard to kick to him last time Thomas had a chance at the ball but slipped and fell Wingard oh high kick Thomas making no effort and that ball is going for Oklahoma State good it just dropped in the end zone Nebraska thought they had something there at the 20 yard line the ball will be instead of at about the one yard line well nearly a quarter to go 
From out of town, Miami, 38 to nothing over Cincinnati. That's in the fourth quarter. Georgia, oh, oh, oh boy, that was seven all for a while. Now it's 49-14 in the fourth quarter. The Bulldogs, they lost their opener and nothing since. Baylor and SMU at the halftime all tied up in a big Southwestern Conference game. And Arkansas, touchdown ahead of Texas Tech, third quarter. All right, here we go. Williams, Herman Thomas, and a couple of yards. Second down. Well, here's where neither team really, Paul, has to get out of its game plan because the ball game is up for grabs with just a three-point difference and a quarter to play. And we've seen all kinds of trickery tonight on both sides of the line of scrimmage by both teams. Thomas is rushed now for 69 yards and 21 tries, far below his average. He rolls off 100-yard games like DeBose does, like Bo Jackson does 200-yard games. Second down seven. We got a back offense. Miller out here on rally one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Williams. He's got the arm and throws over there. And the ball is caught over there by number 21, Beck. And now they say he was juggling the ball going out of bounds. It's third down. Did not it's have Weimer, control. I beg your pardon. Weimer did not have control of the ball, Jim, as he was going out of bounds. He tried to get his feet back in, and he couldn't do that. Watch it. You'll see it. It's a good call by the official. Here goes Weimer. Beyond the first down marker. Coming up to the inside is Davis. Now watch, he never has control of the football as he goes out of bounds. I'm watching Beck, and he's the man standing out of bounds. He's not even in the club. In the ball game. Well, he's going to lateral him. Weimer now comes wide to the left, and this is a big third down play for Ronnie Williams. He's got the time, they're running out of time. Better get it away, and the ball is thrown right to a defender, number 41, Mark Munford, and it's first down goal to go, Nebraska. Jim, the heat was on, but if Williams could have gotten the ball over Mumford, he had Thurman Thomas wide open. Here comes the heat. Scow 96. On the outside, Brad Smith. They're all in the backfield just chasing to the outside, but on this play here, he throws it. Mumford catches the ball, but had he thrown the ball a little bit higher, he had Thurman Thomas, who was wide open. The crowd goes quiet for a moment and now comes back and says, hold him. Nebraska, big break there. And here's Clayton looking to capitalize. Throws the ball out of bounds. And it went off the hands of one of the men. Roger Lindstrom was the intended receiver, but there was a lot of orange around him. And Pat Jones has his ball club in contention only to have that big turnover. Jim, I, I just, I got to believe here that Clayton just throws the ball away because when he takes a look and people are moving around the end zone, what happened to Oklahoma State? Look at their defensive secondary. That ball was tipped, but that ball was a little bit too high. They were back deep in the end zone, did not leave their receivers. Second down from the seven. And now here goes the Bows, and the Bows gets to about the four, third down and goal to go. And Oklahoma State would be happy to get out of here with only giving up a field goal. But that is a tough rushing ball club. They've got to stop on this next play. And I guarantee if they get that ball anywhere close to the one-yard line, they'll go. They'll go. They'll go. The Bows has already run for 131 yards. He is in there. Here's the big play. From the three. Pullback. Rathman scores easily, going away. Everybody was tucked inside. He simply took it outside, and Nebraska breaks off top by nine with a chance to go up by ten. Jim, when you say Rathman easily, what happened is when he goes up in the middle, watch, it's jammed. So all he does is just move to the outside. He just slides. McCormick, number 61, sealed things to the inside, the guard, and Rathman, watch this. Just a nice move by Rathman. Right there, the little dip to the outside. McCormick, 61, gets the block. He's in. Touchdown. And now on to add the extra point is Dale Klein. And the only good that Oklahoma State can see out of all of this is the fact there's still 13 minutes left to play. Saturday night, CFA football on ESPN is brought to you by... DuPont approved Thermalite keeps you warm and comfortable whether you're on the slopes or in the city. By the U.S. Armed Forces, it's a great place to start. And by Budweiser, 
For all you do, this Bud's for you. Yahoo! <laughs> Budweiser. The ball on the 40-yard line for the kickoff, 27 to 17. Nebraska, but 13 minutes remain. Riley is deep for Oklahoma State, and Ronnie Williams is eager to get back in the ball game. After that bad throw that Mumford intercepted and gave Nebraska some breathing room. Uh oh, hop on that ball. They do in the end zone. Will come out to the 20-yard line. Nebraska looked powerful in the second quarter and early in the third quarter. Since then, it's been all Oklahoma State until now. They didn't have far to go, just seven yards before Rathman took it in after the interception by Munford. Took 17 seconds also in that cue. Quick, quick, quick. Now, Ronnie Williams a little late getting to the huddle. Bringing out Weimer to the left and Beck to the right. Lots of time. Go back to that tight end for both clubs. Let him short drop looking over here for Weimer. And he picks up seven or eight yards, and that gets a little confidence back right there. Second down and three to go. You see Weimer pop up and run back in the huddle. He wants to get going. Tell you what, this is an absolutely beautiful night for football, and what a football game between Nebraska, co-defending champion of the Big Eight, and Oklahoma State that wants in somewhere along the line. With his 18 of 29. And off, and Thurman Thomas gets it across the 30-yard line. That's the first down for Oklahoma State. Well, you wondered whether or not Hartley Dykes pulled up on that long pass, remember? A ruptured disc, and that puts him out of the game. A good receiver, the freshman out of Texas. That's why he's not back in, and that's probably why he pulled up on that play. I had to figure something, Jim, because he just stopped running. He's one of the faster men on the field, and he just let the ball go. And when he did, Brad Davis, or excuse me, Davis, number 32, inter intercepted the football. First down, Oklahoma State. Williams. Uh-oh, look out. He's going to be gotten in his down. Good play there. Uh, number 95, Danny Noonan of middle guard. They were looking at face masks there, but I think Noonan gets him right by the side of the helmet. We'll see it here on, on Ronnie Williams, number 15. Watch the right of your screen. Here he comes. Is that face mask? No, that shoulder pad. Good play. Good play. And good call. Put the ball back to the 21-yard line. Second down and 19. There's some big things flying around up here. And I don't know what... They look like grasshoppers, but I know they're not. And they're just jumping all over the place. <laughs> you may be here alone in a little while. I'll take care of you. Second down. There's Williams. Nobody rushing this time. There's that big arm again. The receiver Riley back there. And Riley is intercepted, they say. The official says, no, neither one of you had it. Brian Davis said, I had it. The official says, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> Was he out of Jones bounds? No. Riley is down on the other side. Osborne is out in the middle of the field. 27-17 the scores. They pick up Riley. All right, here. We know this man has got an arm. Ronnie Williams. He just puts this ball up in the air for Riley to go after it. Now, Davis, number 32, he does catch the football, I think. There's the ball. That's an interception, Jim. That's what I thought. That is an interception. Where could it not be called an interception? I can't see. But it is not. That's why Tom Osborne was halfway across the field. I feel sure. Why do you always say that to me? No, it isn't. Because <laughs> they have the ball back at the 22. That's why it isn't. Third down, 19. One of the few times we've seen split backs in that backfield for Oklahoma State. And they're setting it up over here for Thomas, who makes the catch. Long way to go to get the first down, and does not. Uh, they gets back to the 30-yard line, if that, and will be fourth down, and better than 10 to go, they'll have to kick the ball back. So they have the ball for better than two minutes, pick up one first down, have to kick it away. Here comes Scow, number 96. Now watch, he looks like he's, he's just in Williams' face, but they just let him go because the screen is working back on this side to Thurman Thomas, number 34. The blocking looked like it was out front, but the man Miller, number 17, Blue Miller, is the guy that goes in, Jim, and makes the play. It's Thompson to kick the ball away. Line drives the ball, and 
and is caught on a fair catch. And Nebraska's got the ball in the lead by 10 points, fourth quarter. As of this moment, the biggest play of the game was the Munford interception of the low thrown Williams pass from his own goal line nearly, which gave Nebraska a first down of the Oklahoma State seven. They took it in and the score went from 20 to 17 to 27 to 17. And now Nebraska's got the ball again. First down at their own 33 yard line. Kalen is your fullback. And this is Clayton carrying the ball and getting some yardage across the 35 to the 37. And that is about all. Jim, when they're going down the line of scrimmage, those inside linebackers must be in a pursuit angle. 54 is Ricky Adams, 40 is James Ham. And what they have to do is they have to get to the ball carry and make sure that they don't cut back. All right, let's just take a look what happens. Adams is 54. He's moving. He gets cut down by Frame. Number 40 gets cut down. Who is Ham? Gets cut down by Smith. Fullback, Kalen, and doesn't get much. Well, we came into the game thinking that Max Clayton was a great running quarterback, and that he is. But tonight, Clayton is getting all of the adulation as a passer. He has run the ball 11 times for a total of 11 yards. Well, that's it's one yard. It's one yard. It's yard. incredible. Third down, and a long four to go, and that's why the crowd is on its feet again. Asking the Cowboys to stop the Cornhuskers. The bows the tailback. Here is Clayton looking to throw and throws across the middle. And what a catch made by Vandras. And now they say he dropped it as he hit the ground. Vandras, the tight end at the 27 yard line, had the ball. And as he goes down, he'll see it slip out. Clayton, play action in the backfield of the bows. And now he's got his blockers out in front of him. Vandras is going to come across the field number 87 he is the tight end they have not thrown to the tight end all evening almost caught the ball i thought he had for the moment but oklahoma state gets it back as on is wingert fourth punt of the night the deep man is thomas again they know he can break it he gets it and he'll have to fade back for this one a few yards inside the 15 to the 13 no place to go. No place to go. As Miles was down there in a hurry. Nine minutes exactly to go. Ten point difference. Oklahoma State trails, but does have the football. Back in a moment to score. Regret to say you missed a play, but it was an underthrown pass from Williams intended for Weimer. It is second down, 10. Oklahoma State at the 13 yard line. 8.53 to go. Nebraska by 10. Williams, oh, another one tipped, and almost picked off this. Bachman is the man who tipped it, and Brown is the man who tried to catch it. And it's a good thing he didn't. That would have been a loss. Miami now really trouncing Cincinnati, 38 to nothing. It is a final, and Georgia is a final, 49-20 over Ole Miss. Halftime, Baylor SMU, they are all tied up at 14 apiece. Arkansas in the fourth quarter, up by nine over Texas Tech. And LSU, well, we got them against Kentucky next week. Blanking Vanderbilt, 42 nothing in the third quarter. And Army running over Boston College, 31 to seven, fourth quarter. Third down and long for Williams and Oklahoma State as a man and throws out here and Riley does not hold on to the ball. Would have been a first down at the 27 yard line. It's fourth down. And Oklahoma State will have to give up the ball again. Remember when they got the ball, there was 13 minutes to go. Now the score is the same, and there are only about eight minutes to go. Eight minutes and six seconds. I don't understand why Ronnie Williams did not throw the ball. It's the Sermon Thomas coming out in the flats. Rich Thompson to kick the ball away. Double safeties back there for Nebraska. Thompson kicking from inside his own five-yard line. And the ball is taken by Schnitzler, and Schnitzler gets down to the 45-yard line, and the flag is down. Did he run after calling for a fair catch? He made a fair catch, a, a kind of a weak fair catch signal, Jim, and then he started to run with the football. But once he puts his hand up, they consider that a fair catch. And they're going to penalize him. We're going to see Schnitzer. Now take a look at his right hand here, Jimmy. When he walks up, 
Here's the, that, 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 that's, oh. also, that's a fair catch. There's also a clip. <laughs> they didn't call that. That's, they called the fair catch signal. They're still discussing it at midfield. Although Nebraska has faded back to inside its own 30 yard line. The officials led tonight, as we said, by John McClintock, the referee. I remember when John Wayne played McClintock <laughs> in the movie once. True Grits? No, nope. no, this is a way back. Way back. Marino O'Hara was in it also. They were in one today. The Marino Grant. First down at 15. First and 15 from the 45 yard line, 7.57 to go, Nebraska up by 10. Oklahoma State will beat the age old song, has not beaten this ball club since 1961, where we're within three points before the big interception moments ago down inside the 10 yard line of Oklahoma State. The Bows carries the ball, and not for much, a yard or two put down by John Washington. The tackle on that side. Tomorrow night, hockey again as we continue. The early season of the National Hockey League and we'll go all the way through to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Tomorrow night, Philadelphia and Washington, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, live of course. And on Wednesday, the Islanders and Orders at 8.30. They check that 9.30 Eastern Time. And we've got Kentucky and LSU next Saturday night. Second down. Long way to go. Clayton still with the football. Puts it out over the middle. And the ball is caught there. And what a night Snitzler's having. Snitzler's call a touchdown pass as the first down inside the 20-yard line here. Time running away. Put down by Williams. Jim, look at the time. Here's the play action. A fake reverse coming around to the side. But look at the time that Clayton has to throw the football. Snitzler just clears in front of the linebackers. Or behind the linebackers in front of the safety and corner. Noah Gilliam was not even with him at the time. Snitzler picks it up. I'm just so impressed with both quarterbacks the way they're throwing the football tonight. Snitzler had six catches only before tonight. And there goes DeBose. Look out. Breaking to the outside. He's got speed. And over there very quickly to put him down. Moore and Hudson. It's another first down. First and goal to go. 143 yards so far. And that's not too bad. Here it comes now. DeBose just breaks back to the outside. They seal off so well. Blankenship got an excellent block. And when DeBose gets to the outside, Mark Moore, number 44, is there. Hudson's there, number 10. But they already have the first down at the seven yard line. You know the great eye backs ball that Nebraska has had. Mike Rozier, Roger Craig, and all those folks. Well, DeBose, according to Tom Osborne, is a great back. And he can measure them against some other great backs. Clayton Lookout, touchdown coming up right here. Waltz is in for his second touchdown. That's the third rushing touchdown against Oklahoma State that had shut them out rushing the football since uh, 1982. Remember when, when uh, Clayton scored before Jim and Rathman got a block? Watch this one. Here comes another one, and the man he's going to block again, the same man, Ricky Adams. Here comes Rathman, 26. He just gets an excellent block. That man going down on the ground was Adams. Rathman gets the block. Clayton walks home. And now in, Dale Klein to add the extra point in Oklahoma State that had not given up a single touchdown in the second half until today has given up its second in the second half tonight. And now Nebraska in control, 6.50 to go, 34 to 17, the Cornhuskers. And it looks as though Oklahoma State will have to try again next year to break the jinx. After our game, one of many played today and tonight, Bob Lee will be around with the college football post-game scoreboard show. Now Nebraska is about to win its fourth in a row and head on out to Missouri, which hasn't won one yet. Next week, Oklahoma State back to the drawing board. As far as Nebraska is concerned, they will not bring this ball out. They put the knee down and come out to the 20-yard line. And here comes that man, Rathman, again, on the block described by Mr. Paul McGuire. What a job he did for Clayton. Well, he does, and it, it, Ricky Adams again. Here it comes. Watch 26 coming to the outside. Ricky Adams is coming down the line of scrimmage, and there's 26 Rathman, and he's going to pop him right there, get to his legs. He goes down. Clayton, touchdown. That's pretty. He That's is run for uh -oh. two touchdowns and thrown for a touchdown. And boy, he looked like he almost pulled up lane, didn't he? And we have a new quarterback warming up, and I don't know if it's whether Clayton was hurt or they figure they got the game. In any event, let's get down to first down Oklahoma State. Williams, a quick drop, and he's rushed and hit as he throws for Riley, and the ball is still up in the air, and it's incomplete. The flag goes down. Flag goes down. 
That's Davis back there with him. And I obviously they're going to say he interfered with him. Jim, I think what's, what's going to happen here is, is did Davis hit him before the ball got there? But remember, this is only a 15-yard penalty. Here it comes. Williams throws this ball out here to Riley, and, and when you look at it from that angle, Davis is just going up for the football. Let's look at it from this angle. Here it is here. He's going up. He's got both hands away from him. That's just a clean play. That's why I said a flag goes down. I didn't believe it. Williams now 21 to 34 for 274 yards. Has been picked off a couple of times, and here's the penalty. Defensive pass interference. No. First down. Come on. <laughs> ball at the 35-yard line, 6.43 to go. I thought Davis played that ball beautifully. 14 unanswered points by Nebraska after the Cowboys have closed to within three. First down. There's Williams. Popped it over. And that is Looper in the game for the first time. The youngster, a freshman, red shirt, makes the catch, and that's about a five-yard pickup, second down and five. Well, that's not going to get him back in the ball game. Those little dump passes across the middle. Though. Nebraska will give you five yards. Tom Osborne seems to have his club in control here. Kansas City in the eighth now. That's quite a pitching duel there. If they win, it's all tied at two apiece. The American League Championship. Here's what he's back, throwing it out here, and that's Looper taking it on the chin there from Brian Washington, a hard-hitting monster man. Now I know why they were not throwing the ball to Thurman Thomas in the flat. Because <laughs> <laughs> Looper is going to get his lunch handed to him. Watch this. Brian Washington, he sees it all the way, and as Looper bobbles the ball right there, it's good night. And that was, they, in fact, they lost a half a yard on that play. It's third down and better than five to go. Pat Jones had his team back in contention and now it is out of contention barring the miracle finish of many seasons That's Williams and the crew behind the receiver Beck was down the field took a turn to the inside and the ball was thrown before he even took the turn he wasn't even looking for a football just a misconnection between the quarterback and here comes the monster man that's Brian Washington he, he sees that he knows he's going to get hammered once he goes up in the air by Miller number 25 but you're right Beck ran a post pattern and Williams threw the ball on an out pattern. Rich Thompson to kick the ball away, and Nebraska comfortably up front will get the ball back again. Fake punt? No. You never know. They have nothing to lose, but they're not going to do it. That gets called by this time, and Seaver really makes sure that he has inside the 18 yard line. Next week, Paul and Abbey down in Baton Rouge, Tigerland, Kentucky, and LSU, 7.30 Eastern Time, a regular start time. And on Thursday, the 31st of October, back to our Thursday night specials, New Mexico State and Nevada, Las Vegas. And now, Travis Turner, a veteran, a senior, is in there. We don't know whether Clayton is really hurt putting up in the end zone or whether they figure that let's give Turner some work here. Turner hands off here. And that looks like yet a third back in the ball game. Let's see who's going to get up, and that's John Kelly getting up. Kelly returned to kick, but that's his first running play. Picks up two, second down and eight. Kalen and Kelly are your running backs with five minutes to go in the ball game. Shepard goes wide to the left. And over here to the right comes Henley Hawkins. As Tom Osborne, some people would say shows mercy. I don't think so. He's just got some good men he wants to get some good playing time to. Gives the ball to Kelly again. Kelly's wrestled down near the 25-yard line. It'll be third down and short as James Ham makes the stop. Well, after watching on television today here in Oklahoma, the Sooners' victory over Texas, and after watching... Nebraska tonight being a little bit of trouble, but now winning going away. You again look as you do every year in the Big 8 for the big showdown between Oklahoma and Nebraska. Remembering that the only two losses last year by Oklahoma State were to Oklahoma and Nebraska. Jones has come back in now. If they give the ball to Jones number six, he is a speedster. He may be the fastest man in this ballpark. Instead, they give it to Kalen, the fullback. He's got the first down. Keith Jones runs a 4-3-40, 
and is the Big 8 Indoor Sprint Champion and is a sophomore of Omaha, number six, and he is the eye back at the moment. Here comes some more people. <laughs> That's what it is now, more people. Nelligan has come in, the tight end. Hawkins is still in there. As a matter of fact, Hawkins is coming out wide to the right. Now it's a pullback again. Kalen, and he doesn't get much. But the big thing is the Cornhuskers are running time off the clock. Three and a half minutes to go. Well, in the Oklahoma City and Tulsa papers tomorrow and all around the state, they'll be talking about the great win of Oklahoma and its defense over Texas, and they'll be talking about the inability one more time. They haven't beat them since 1961. Oklahoma State to handle Nebraska. And Nebraska will leave here with a 10-1-1 record in this Lewis Stadium here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Tellington is the new center in the ball game. Second down nine. Now they give the ball to the tailback, and he's got no shot at all to show some of that speed. That's the man I was telling you about, but Keith Jones has no chance. You can have 4-3 all you want, Jim, but if you have orange jerseys draped all over you, you're not going to run anywhere. Time is called, and the score is 34-17, Nebraska in control. 2.53 left. I'm sure that Pat Jones will tell his club that they were in this ball game and could have won it at the end of three quarters, 20-17. Interception turned it around, but Oklahoma State in the last 28 games have held 25 of their opponents to under 20 points. Not tonight. Nebraska's got 34, double what they scored last year, where they won 17 to 3. Here's Travis Turner pitching the ball out. And down goes John Kelly. And now it's fourth down the ball. Clock continues to run. Krebs put him down. Jim Krebs, a reserve linebacker. That's John Kelly. Now Paul from the Big Eight. And this is the opening conference game for both of these clubs. It's down into the southeast where they've been playing conference football for some time now to watch LSU and Kentucky next Saturday night. Looking forward to it. Raman Thomas, again, the deep man. He wasn't used early on, but they want some offensive weaponry in there. Winger to kick the ball to him. Letting that clock run down as much as he can. All oh, high kick, and Thomas has to go for fair catch at the 32, where it's first and 10. A reminder that next month, November the 3rd, but leave it or not, America's challenge to get back what used to be called the America's Cup, now the Australian Cup. Six U.S. challengers, they got about $100 million up in the till there to put together a boat that could go challenge. They don't really go after the Australians till February of 87, but it all begins between the Americans to see who's going to go right now. And on November 3rd, we'll have a report on it for you here on ESPN. First down, Oklahoma State. Two minutes, two seconds to go. Williams, there's that gun of an arm again, but this time he throws it right by Riley. Got it second down and 10. They said that when Williams fractured his jaw against Washington in the opening game and did not play in the next two and played only in the second half last week, that he would be rusty. And on occasion tonight, he has been rusty, but on occasion tonight, you can see some brilliance there and an arm that is going to put a lot of points on the board for the Cowboys in the years to come and in the season. Those numbers, as far as total yards, are concerned, really been, they're not telling the story of this game. There's a nice little throw out there to Thomas. And he is put down by Brian Davis. And very close to a first down. 146 to go. You never know. Nebraska's a good ball club. Oklahoma State, fifth ranked for four tonight. They'll drop a little bit. Nebraska will come up a little bit. But after all, that interception down there by the reserve linebacker or the linebacker, Mark Munford, inside the 10 when the score was 20 to 17, just changed this all around. All around. Third and short. The problem is he had Thomas open, too. There's Thomas, and Thomas, I think, has the first down, but I'm not sure it becomes all academic in any event because only 125 remain. Bob Lee standing by moments away from all of the scores of all what's happening today in college football and, of course, in the baseball playoffs. The Cardinals are alive, and the Royals are trying to come alive. Thomas has rushed for 72 yards. The bow is well over 140 yards tonight. Here's Williams, look out from behind. Down he goes. 
and it's second down. And what is worse, that will run the clock down even more. Holloway was the man in putting him down. Well, the defensive lineman, they, you know, we talk about it all the time. They, they're just going for the passer, that's all. Second down and a bundle, about 17 to go. Less than a minute left on the clock. And there's the throw, and it is not caught. Intended for number 87, Dillard. Well, I guess I'll save those ad libs that I stole out of the newspaper this morning by about the fact that the last time Oklahoma State won, they were putting up the Berlin Wall, and uh, Jimmy Dean had Big Bad John, and they were forming the Peace Corps until next year. But Oklahoma get. State now will go back, and next year we'll start all over again saying we've not beaten Nebraska since 1961. You can use them again next year, but just use them in reverse order. <laughs> <laughs> not funny to Oklahoma State fans. And there's the throw out there to Weimer, and Weimer is thrown down out of bounds at the 43-yard line, stopping the clock with 47 seconds to go. Oklahoma State, first loss of the year. Remember, a year ago, they went to Lincoln with the same record of 4-0-0 and came away losers 17-3, and are 4-1-0. Jerry that says it all right there, doesn't it? Just remember, they came into this thing undefeated, and you got to just throw this game aside and go after with the rest of the schedule. Both teams will be 4-1-0. and In other words, Oklahoma State loses. Nebraska wins a conference game, a big game. But they're both in the record books at the same. And there's Beck making the catch first down inside the 35-yard line to the 32. Put down by Cleo Miller. Oklahoma State. Next week has an open date before they got to go against Kansas at Kansas two weeks from today. Kansas got beat today by Iowa State. Here's Williams running for his life. Put down by Jones. 20s. Well, there's the clock you can see for yourself. They may not get another play away. I think they're going to, well, they're talking. Miller's walking. He's calling timeout with 17 seconds to go. And second down, 20. Ronnie Williams calls timeout. So with timeout, we'll take timeout. 34 to 17. Nebraska leads with moments to go. <laughs> Nebraska won the second quarter and the fourth quarter and the ball game. 34 to 17 with 17 seconds left. With Williams. Look at that arm. She, he has an arm. He was going on a dead run. Beck catches the ball, stopping the clock at the 22. It's going to be about a half yard short of the first down. Seven seconds left. Probably the safer Pat Jones and his coaching staff and his players. They're down by 17 points, and they're trying to make everything happen here in the last seconds, even calling time with 17 seconds on the clock. Time is called for the measurement. I will tell you, I'd love a coach. I mean that in all sincerity with Pat Jones. I'd love a coach. That, this game is totally out of the question. That man there never quits. And you see teams that will just take it and say, I'm going to get my people off the field. They're working on different things. They're, they're, they're giving their team a little bit of confidence that they've lost in the loss of this ball game because it's been so long. But I like I like that. Never give up in a ball game. Anything can happen. I mean, you're down 70 points. You can't get that back. But they lost to Nebraska last year. Lost to Oklahoma last year. But wound up 10 and 2 with a Gator Bowl victory. Uh, maybe things will get better this year. And was in this ball game at the end of three quarters, down only by three points before that big interception that turned it all around. And here is Williams back, putting the ball up in the air, and it's over there, and it's not caught. Intended for Beck, not caught. Siegler defending, the ball game is over, and Nebraska has won yet again. It has been since 1961 since Oklahoma State has won. Now the flag is down, they cannot... No, Jim, they're, they're saying touchdown. Now they're saying They're touchdown. saying touchdown. Didn't the ball... I thought the ball was rolling around the end zone. Well, there's no time on the clock. They, they, they can go, but look. Now they're saying... Come on, guys, let's take a look at this now. Well, they gave, uh, they called it off. One man called it off, Paul. And I made the call on the official. Let us, let us watch O'Donnell. Am I blind, or did that ball hit the ground? 
three. That'll be 24. Nebraska wins by 10. But there's still something to be answered here. We had one down the other end that we didn't think was a touchdown. That was the one to Dillard. That was the one to Dillard. Now let's just see what happened here. Now let's see where we went wrong. Some big guys. For All right, here it is. Now let's just take a Williams, and he's going to hit Beck, number 21. Now does he have control of this football? He said that Beck has control of the football as he went across the door. He runs up. Okay. Well, say that's a good call. That's a good call. And the final score is Nebraska 34 and Oklahoma State 24. Nebraska wins by 10. And it's time now, Paul, to pick the players of the game for both squads, and they both play the same position. Now, Ronnie Williams, I, I was impressed, Jim, with both quarterbacks. Ronnie Williams threw the ball well. He, remember, he has a fractured jaw, 290 yards, two touchdowns, that one interception that might have cost him the football game because it gave Nebraska good field position. On the other hand, Clayton, he did it all for that team. He ran with the football, threw the ball extremely well, 152 yards, and that's kind of strange for Nebraska. 12 rushes, he rushed for two touchdowns himself, and he threw for one, and Clayton looks like a real star of the future for Nebraska. Remember, Paul and I will be down at LSU next Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern time. And that will be Kentucky and LSU here on CFA Football Saturday night. Jim Simpson, Paul McGuire, now from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Let us go back to our studios in Connecticut, and Bob Lee following these messages. 